Alright. Let's play a rogue. Trying to decide what race we're going with. Don't really want to play undead. A human could be okay. Elf is really powerful. And dwarf is interesting. Because of the dodge, um, petrifying touch. If I wanna go more, slightly more magic skills. From human, from human, you also get the extra damage because you're backstabbing every time. The resistance from lizard don't matter that much, and the fire is not really. That useful to a rogue. I could play any kind of undead. Yeah, probably undead human. You trade encourage for play dead, and you give the crit. Keep the dodge if you're an undead dwarf. So most likely, mm. yeah, let's play elf because it's. Uh, It's useful having the flesh sacrifice or I really wanna play human though. Now if I compare both of them, I only get the flesh sacrifice from elf. But I get encourage and crit. The battering doesn't really matter that much. The loadout, it doesn't really matter. And we're picking rogue because you get the two daggers. So basically on the loadout, what you get is what you see here, the weapons you see here. And then your inventory is a bit different so according to what you pick. This doesn't matter, it's just preference, but obviously the voice has to be scholar every time. Uh, and cello. Tags, I'm always gonna pick uh, Jester and Scholar. Scholar because it offers more quests just by having this. And Jester because uh, it's my favorite, I guess. Has some really nice conversations. Gonna take all of this out. And my talents as well. And I'm gonna pull this up. Uh, this one. Which is the skills I'm gonna be using throughout the run. And even though there's lots of colors and shit. It's relatively simple. So you get uh, 
hold up. There we go. So you get the yellow ones, which are the skills I'm going to be using for sure. So on a rogue, I'm going to be using Uncanny Evasion. Nothing of this magic is necessary. We're going to use Chicken Claw, Chameleon Cloak. Everything here is either good or irrelevant. And then some of this we'll get as well. But what's important is Adrenaline, Backlash, Rupture Tendons, Cloak and Dagger, uh, the Piercing Knife, and then Corrupted Blade. Eventually we'll be using Mortal Blow, only because it's uh, it's really powerful when you start fights with it and we're not going to be using many source skills probably only skingraft but this is basically the base of uh, my build everything you see in yellow then we got green which is not absolutely necessary but it's going to make the build much better in general so you got teleport and nether swap. Teleport is self-explanatory. And nether swap is good as well. We got haste and peace of mind. Basically every build will have this. If you're playing on a party, for example, and you're playing a rogue just doing damage, maybe you don't really want to use teleport, nether swap, or buff yourself. You can have a support or someone else buffing you. So it's not absolutely necessary, but it's really good on this build. Nothing from this magic. We can use uh, Tentacle Lash at the start of the game. It's, it doesn't scale with finesse, but it's good enough to use for uh, at least for the first part of the game. Hide meatballs, you're right. Then we keep looking and we see skin graft. Again, self explanatory. You get two invisibilities, two adrenalines, two of whatever you want. It's a panic button of sorts. I will probably not need it that much, but it's always nice to have. We keep going. We see tactical retreat. We'll be using cloak and dagger. Tactical Retreat is kinda optional, but it's really good. And obviously for a rogue, you wanna be... If you're playing solo, maybe you, wanna bo you want both of them. If you're playing alone and your party starts a fight, you might wanna start sneaking because you're not gonna have high wits. So you're better off sneaking, repositioning with Cloak and Daga, and starting the fight while your team is fighting already. <laughs> We also have Throwing Knife, which is situationally good. Situationally good. It's not uh, not like a main skill, but it has its uses. And obviously it's a rogue skill. We got, I don't know what this is called. Sleeping Arms, I believe. The one that causes atrophy. It's normal damage for 2 AP, so you don't really get... I mean, Atrophy is nice, but uh, you'll have uh, knockdowns and some other ways to prevent enemies from doing things, but it's okay to use. I forgot about those two. The main knockdowns are going to be obviously Battering Ram and Battle Stomp. So they are, I could say, necessary. Even if you're a rogue support or some kind of <coughs> rogue on a party, this one's, I, I believe they are necessary. Then you get Crippling Blow, which is in every melee build is gonna be like this, strictly better auto attack. It has higher damage than a regular attack, it has a small AoE and it cripples. If you have memory to spare and you don't need anything else, Crippling Blow is always nice. We don't use, uh, we don't use shield, enrage we always crit and provoke is useless. Well, when <coughs> it's situationally good, I could say more than more than green, it should be red. But it has uses. 
blitz, repositioning is always good, but uh, it's difficult to backstab with blitz because you end up in random positions, so it's not that good, but having more mobility on your rogue can be necessary, same as phoenix dive, more mobility, although I prefer cloak and dagger and tactical retreat over phoenix dive, unless I'm playing, unless I was playing a pyromage, maybe. And then we have Overpower, which is a possibility. Instead of using Mortal Blow, we keep the source and use Overpower. Then we move on to the blue ones. The blue ones are situationally broken. More than situationally good, situationally broken. So we have one Tremor, which if we pick Torture, it becomes a super powerful CC. So we have things that go well with Torture, like Piercing Knife, Rapture Tendons, potentially Death Wish, potentially. So it's not, it's not bad in this build. You have Medusa Head if you if you go for a more magic oriented or hybrid build, Medusa Head becomes powerful because it's 4 turns of CC that you couldn't potentially get, but obviously if the enemies have no armor. Then you get Spider Legs, which is, again, depending on how you wanna play your rogue, it can be broken or it can be just okay-ish to have. So it remains blue. Charm is blue simply because how powerful it is. Charm is uh, only if you want to go magic oriented or on a magic team. Because for 2 you get a CC for 2 turns. Potentially you can do damage, but you should never trust charmed enemies. Like, just consider this uh, CC for 2 turns. We go down and we see Chloroform, which is the best magic CC, only 1 AP, 3 turns. If you have any kind of magic party, or even physical parties can use Chloroform, because it's gonna scale with finesse and it's gonna do lots of magic damage. But it's situationally good, situationally broken rather. Then you have Gag Order, which is the main way we will be breaking armor. Magic armor, sorry. It's really, really powerful. Combined with Venom Coating, it's even more broken. But it's not something to carry on the main build, because Silence is not really that useful of us, is it? Then we have Terrifying Cruelty, which is 3 AP, lots of damage, terror, and bleeding. This works really well when you have Chicken Claw, you Rapture Tendons, you Terrify, and you get the opportunity attack, the chicken runs away, the chicken is bleeding out. But obviously you need to build for that specifically. You need to break magic armor before, you need to have lots of AP to do this combo. Chicken Claw and Rapture Tendons works relatively well on its own, but Terrifying Cruelty makes sure that the chicken runs away, taking damage and getting hit by the opportunity attack. Then we got the red ones, which are the situational, very situational. So obviously any character could use any skill, but for a rogue we have several which stand out. We have Fortify, not because it gives armor, but because it prevents uh, teleports and also removes, you know, uh, burning, burning poison and some others. So it's nice to have. Um, fossil Strike and Impalement. Impalement is usually better, it's just the projectile from Fossil Strike has a different trajectory and this one is just point and click. 
but it's basically a free source of oil. And impalement also cripples, which can be useful in some situations. Earthquake is another knockdown, but it's uh, expensive to use and you fill everything with oil, which makes everything messy. And you usually end up slow for no reason. But it can be used. Then you have Poison Nova, which main use is to be immune to earth and poison damage. It's, it has no other use in this build. I, it wouldn't be used to do damage, really. You have... Uh, I can't remember what this is called, because I almost never use it, but it's something like... Siphon Poison? But it's basically a skill that takes poison from around you and converts it to poison damage. Siphon? Siphon? I don't know how to say that. But yeah, it's uh, strictly worse Venom Coating. And it scales really weird. So I, I could say that maybe it's potentially useful, but not very good. You have Dagas and Ignition. Ignition has two main uses. To clear surfaces around you and to reveal invisibility for one AP. So that's why it's good. Kinda like Rain. Although Rain has a few more uses. <laughs> and then you have Searin Daggers, which is again to clear to clear uh, surfaces. And if you're running torture, they they kinda become slightly better. But again, they are situational. We have Firebrand, same reason as Venom Coating. Same reason as Siphon. It adds damage and it will convert it to pure damage if you're using Piercing Knife and um, Magic Breaking Damage if you're using Gag Order. It scales extremely well, Venom Coating, with those two skills. And these two help, but they are not that good. Then you have Frost Armor. Because it removes lots of statuses. More armor. Uh, Rogue is going to be a common theme. When you get your armor breaking, you have no way of recovering it. Other than potions, or maybe keep a shield. Or, if you have an extra point in Hydro and the memory, you can carry this. Rain, same reason as Ignition, reveals invisible. It also can stun or freeze if you keep grenades or some shit like that. But again, on this build, you have other things to CC people. A restoration, there's two rings with restoration at the start of the game. And it's... We are, um, we are a physical character, so the damage to undead is gonna... It's gonna be pretty good. Because it scales with warfare, which is our main source of damage. But again, situationally very good against undead. Not really useful anywhere else. We get from Necro this three Mosquito Swarm scales with intelligence is just here because if you carry torture and you need some kind of range attack to start fights, you can potentially use Mosquito, but it's not that good. Decay and Touch if you're carrying Heal, if you're carrying Bloodsucker. This thing becomes very powerful, because you get a lot of damage for 1 AP. But it's situational, simply because you are a physical character, and you can potentially fit this if you want it. We get Living on the Edge, which is for those moments where you want to do something stupid, and you don't know if it's going to work out, so you cast Living on the Edge, jump in the middle of the fight and die because you're gonna get cc'd this is gonna run out and you're gonna die it's also useful to set up um water rush if you want to carry death fog but that's like some mem uh, some more i would say some more meme builds and it's useful death wish same reason if you if you feel comfortable fighting at 1 HP, this becomes really good. And Shackles, it basically 
prevents some enemies from attacking you. Some other enemies will not care. It's uh, a bit inconsistent. But you can use it occasionally. Then we have Terrain Swap. Uh, what is it called? Terrain Transmutation. This one is situationally very good if you want to cheese with Lava or Death Fog. This skill is for you. Otherwise, it's nice to clear things difficult difficult to clear otherwise, like Necrofire or some shit. You can just move it out of the way. We got First Aid. Same reason as Decaying Touch, Bloodsucker and Restoration. Lots of damage for 1 AP. Only on Undead. We have... Um, we have a skill that causes decaying, but we don't really want to carry more memory and Huntsman, or a specific spell from Huntsman to do that. You get Glitter Dust, which main use is not to prevent enemies from being invisible, but to remove the extra damage from Huntsman. You can attack from lower ground with this, you don't get hit by extra damage if one enemy has this from high ground, but it's not really useful out of very specific situations. Then you get Fang of Knives, which is very disappointing as a source ability, but you can, you can potentially set up enemies in a line and hit one enemy with several knives. It's really difficult to set up, it's not very good. It's expensive to cast, but it's a cool skill, maybe. Then you get Daga's Drone, which is literally the same as Onslaught, but only with Daga's. If you want to start a fight with a powerful attack, you start with Corrupted Blade, not with Daga's Drone. This skill is pretty bad, but you can potentially use it if you have sparks or some bullshit like that because it's 5 hits. And then we have Thick of the Fight. Again, this is kind of same same as Death Wish, same as Living on the Edge. These are skills for preparing and setting up combos or just one-shotting things. They are not very good on your base build, but on some specific fights with lots of enemies, you can use this and get a uh, a good value out of it. And then you have challenge, which is for free, extra damage, extra armor recovery, I believe. It's been changed in Definitive Edition, I don't use it much. But if you can spare the memory and you like it, it's not a bad skill. And then we have the hybrids, which are only really important smoke screen and bless smoke screen, because it gives you invisibility. And Venom Coating, because it works really well with, like I said, Gag Order, Piercing Knife. And occasionally enemies with no with no magic armor, you do extra damage for free, oh, for 1 AP. But it's, uh, it's a good buff, for this build in particular, you make good use of it. <laughs> and then you have situational shit like Vacuum Aura. Vacuum Touch, Acid Touch, Acid Spray, Corpse Explosion, you get another Dodge, Evasion Aura, which it costs Source, and I think 2 AP, so it's not as good as the normal version, but if you need the Evasion more than once, Firebrand the same way as Venom Coating, that's correct, but Firebrand is less powerful than Venom Coating and you can get it only at six things where it just it kind of falls off like Venom Coating is like I said pretty good with those two but later on enemies have both armors and you don't really do magic damage unless you build for it you get Throw Dust which is the potentially the best clearing ability for surfaces it clears Death Fog um, pretty much anything else. I don't think there's anything it doesn't remove. Maybe source. But that's why it's there. Then we have 
Venom Aura, which is the same as Venom Coating, but, but worse. Unless your team benefits from this, there's no reason to use it. And then you have Sabotage, Mass Sabotage, which you can use. It scales really well with your damage. But the problem with this is that it's another combo meme shit. So to make use of this, you need to set up. But it's uh, it's powerful, used correctly. Then you have Sparks and Sparks Master, which again, if you're on a magic team or you want some more magic damage, you're dual welding, so you occasionally get two procs. It can be good, but it's not going. It's not be on the same level as Venom Coating by, by itself and the rest of the skills. And then you got Cure Guns, same reason as Restoration, First Aid, etc., etc. For uh, dead enemies, it's really powerful. For everything else, it's pretty much useless. And that's gonna be the skills. We're gonna start off, if we look at the first tier, we can start with Polymorph, we can start with Scoundrel, we can start with Warfare. I'll probably start with... Um, uh, let's do Scoundrel Warfare. Yeah, let's do Scoundrel Warfare, because it has the two knockdowns and I just want Backlash. I'll potentially get one knockdown, Backlash and Throwing Knife. That sounds good. Then we get a Polymorph. Potentially if we get a ring with Pyro, it would be nice. And then Warfare, Scoundrel, maxing Warfare first for the extra damage. And um, if we want anything else, some other points spread all around, which we usually get from our gear anyway. Alright, that's the skills. And now, uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. this goes down, this goes up. Alright, let me... Right. These are the talents. I uh, will be playing human. Elf doesn't benefit uh, as much, even though flesh sacrifice is powerful. I'd rather play human. We'll play eventually on um, elf mages, elf mages, because flesh sacrifice buffs uh, ma uh, magic much better than physical damage, or rather, physical damage from weapons. Flesh Sacrifice is amazing on Necromancer. But anyway, these are gonna be the talents that we are potentially useful. And same as before, green is good, blue is situationally good, and then red is useful but... So, all skilled up is potentially good only at level 3. Because you need extra points for your character to spread around, but the more higher the higher level you are, the worse this skill becomes. You get ambidextrous at 18 potentially. If you have nothing else to use, ambidextrous is good. You remove one of your daggers for free, and you throw your shit, scrolls, grenades, whatever, and you can potentially get value out of this. Bigger and better is not as good as all skilled up in lower levels. It's like one of these talents you get if you have nothing else to get or you need the extra stats. But there's better things for rogue. So at 13 or 18, you might get this, but unlikely. Elemental affinity at 18 as a last talent if you are using some magic, but again, it's not very good. And then we get some of the nice talents. You get Executioner, which is... I consider Executioner better at the start. Like, you get value out of it early. Later on, other talents matter mo more. 
So executioner is not that great getting it late. It's good when you get it early. Far out. At lower levels you're gonna have mostly melee attacks so it doesn't benefit that much. If you go ma more magic oriented and more range it's obviously the skill to get later on. But situationally useful, not always. 5 star dinner. Level 8 if you get the blood rose you get plus 2 to all the stats. Otherwise at 18 I would say 13, 18, you start getting value out of potions, but it's like the deciding factor when you're playing solo. Am I getting 5 star or not for the blood rose? If you need other talents, you get other talents. If you need nothing, you get the stats. Glass cannon. You get glass cannon at level 1 or you don't. Same as long wolf. Really powerful, I'm not gonna talk about them. Long Wolf is broken, Glass Cannon is slightly less broken, but nah, I'm not gonna place Glass Cannon or Long Wolf. Guerrilla is uh, one of these skills that you get when you, when you don't need anything else to start with sneak attack. It's not that good, it's only a 50% for your basic attacks, you're better off starting with Corrupted Blade or something, but if if you want it, you can always get it. Hothead. We don't benefit from the crit. At least most of the time. Only the accuracy. And I'll probably get an amulet with with Venom Room for the accuracy. And we have peace of mind potentially. So it's not that good, but it's still good. Living Armor. It's gonna be a common theme throughout the game. Losing my magic armor and having to use items to recover it. If you have necro, if you have living armor, this doesn't solve the problem, but it can help. Mnemonic, again, stats, stats, stats. If you need them, great. If you don't need the stats, there's better things. Opportunist, opportunist is really bad to get as a first talent, but so uh, later talent is gonna be amazing because we're a melee character and we're gonna have chicken claw, terrifying cruelty. Uh, we're gonna intimidate range enemies to move away from us to get a free attack. So amazing. Parry master situationally good if you wanna go for a dodge build. Uh, I've tried it. It's fun dodging like 30 plus percent. If you have a party with leadership, it becomes 50 plus. <laughs> and it's uh, pretty good, but obviously you benefit more from a party with leadership than by yourself. Sabbath Sortilege, if we're going more magic oriented, we get this one, potentially. Slingshot, same reason as Ambidextrous, Elemental Affinity, Hothead, it's a talent to get when you don't have anything else to get. We're gonna start with Pong, same as Executioner. When you get it early, you get lots of value. Late game, I could say that Pong is slightly better for positioning. If you're playing on a party, you need to consider who's killing people. If it's you, you get Executioner. If it's the Ranger or the Necromancer or the Mages, you get Pong. Torturer, if you get it early, it's extremely good. Worm Tremor, Bleed, uh, Rapture Tendons, all of this benefits a lot. Later on, is you can get it, but it's not that good. It, The value you get from Torture is early, mid game. And then Water Rush, because it's an extremely good talent that not many people use, but you're gonna be running around at 10 HP or some shit. So. Situationally good, mid game, but <laughs> you shouldn't get this early. And now we're gonna get our skills and shit. Uh, let me get this out. Right. So we start Scoundrel, we start Warfare. And here. What I'm gonna get is 
telekinesis simply because telekinesis helps me loot better it's the only reason to get telekinesis at one just makes uh, you loot from further away so you your character doesn't get to get close and you can just keep running loot keep running loot keep running otherwise you need to move a lot Lore Master, if you're not an elf, is useful for the resistances at 1 and initiative at 5. Lore Master 2 to 4 is pretty much useless since you can identify at traders. Sneaking. Sneaking is not very good. There's ways. What sneaking does, and you can go invisible, you can sneak normally and jump. Cloak and Daga, uh, Chameleon Cloak. If for some reason you don't have those skills, maybe you want sneaking. Thievery, we'll get thievery later. Opening opening doors, opening chests, looting. And overall, when we get to drift good, trying not to be poor, because it happens every time. Bartering is like the worst thievery. I use this on the pacifist, because I was having money problems. So we get bartering. Persuasion. When I need to get persuasion, I will switch on the mirror. In Fort Joy, I don't need persuasion. I will just... I actually want to fail persuasion, uh, I think, two times or one. Because otherwise I lose experience. Uh, Lucky Charm. If you're on a party, this is absolutely mandatory. One character should have Lucky Charm as high as possible. Because you're gonna have three, four people potentially looting all around, and it procs, it procs uh, for the whole party. Alright, talents, we're gonna get pawn. Better positioning, you can kite enemies for free. Overall, uh, super powerful talent. But. Uh, we lose Executioner. On a solo character, I almost always prefer Pong. Only if I'm playing an Archer, I could pick Executioner or maybe a Necromancer. But for the rest of the characters, Pong, I consider it better for a solo character. Tags already. And we get... Uh, right here. I get a choice to make, we're only gonna get finesse. Don't need strength until later. Don't need intelligence at all, don't need constitution at all. And memory. Potentially we can work with low memory. It shouldn't be a problem. So, do we go finesse, do we go wits? I could say, start with either 12-1 or 13. Simply because with 13 wits you are faster than anything else in Fort Joy. Save specific NPCs, but you're gonna be pretty much first in every fight. Skills, we're gonna get one knockdown. Either one is fine. Battlesome, lower CD, better area, battering ram, better positioning, worse area. Let's go with Battle Stomp. We get Backlash, which is, uh, again, like Crippling Blow is a strictly better auto attack. But we have to consider that we also repositioning when using this. So it has other uses. And we're gonna get Throwing Knife. Throwing Knife is a strictly worse auto attack, but it's range and can benefit from high ground. We'll eventually get Adrenaline, Battering Ram, maybe Chloroform, maybe Crippling Blow. Don't need intelligence at all. I mean... <laughs> you don't need more than intelligence.
So it, but it my positioning really for this kind of thing will be. Something like this. This is four. This is three. So, number one is always gonna be teleport because it's how I'm used to playing. You can get your own. You can get your own hardware, but that's how I play. Loot this too because they give a lot of money. Sixty, one twenty. Alright. We got telekinesis, so we could go down and kill people with a bug. But we're not an elf, and we'll get adrenaline later, which is here. So there's no reason to do it. They, they can live for a long, longer. There's, there's been a murder here. <laughs> yeah, this is not D&D. Similar in some ways. Uh, you get three petrols at the start, one there, two more there. If you're a party of four, someone's gonna have to get one later. Going here, pocket knife, poison bottle because it gives uh, money, and this chest, barrel, has restoration which I need for the quest. So this is always there, I'm gonna prepare my inventory real quick. I always extend my inventory. Don't you get saucy with me when you clearly don't know the first thing about Bugs, my items, my quest items, and then lots of space. It was one of them. Grab any alcohol for a quest later. Open up this door, get my knife. I get a range attack now. We can do one, we can do two. We can get one step inside. And I do this because this way everyone's gonna aggro. Like the Magisters are gonna aggro me. The Origin characters, most of the time they join you. And Windigo is gonna go into the fight and kill everyone, giving me more experience than normal. We lose 300 from these three Magisters. But uh, it doesn't make a difference, we'll get 9 in for Joy. Meister Suwan or Siwan Suwan is gonna still be alive, we can kill her later. Get your Tagas. Crossbow, that's nice. I don't kill the dog anymore because he gives 25 experience and that's uh, absolutely irrelevant. So switch to crossbow to break the door. If you have an undead character, you can open this for free. So, the first fight of the game. Keep the crossbow, keep this. Everything else marked for sale. Peace of mind, we keep. Funds, we keep. So how do I want to start? This is going to trigger a conversation right away, so there's no point on doing a multi-hit attack like Flurry, which is going to be 7, because it's only going to hit once, so I'll just backlash. And let's look at the cons, they don't have opportunity attack, Pong allows me to move for free. Backstab both of them. I can miss because I have only 95. Well, as I said. Not a problem. Can take a couple of hits. There's always a resurrection scroll somewhere around here. I think this is the thingy. Keep a bedroll to always top up your HP. And you get the rested, which is occasionally good to start with. If you need death fog for anything, this is the part where you face through the wall. 
and grab the barrels you need I think it's either 16 or 18 to be able to carry them or simply have telekinesis like I do if we're playing uh, any build with water rush I could pick up the three death for barrels for act 2, 3 and 4 or rather sorry 1, 2 th and 3 act 4 you get crates for free so I could prepare uh, death fog living on the edge walk into death fog walk out on HP <laughs> This is how you waste enemy movement one step ahead, one step back. They need to move towards you. And they get poisoned as well. Can hit a knife and run back, or I can just miss. Take a step back, another step back for free. I'm wasting his movement because he has to get closer. Another thing to do is unequip Daga. You get a knockdown for free for one AP. Reequip. It's currently bugged, so the cooldown refreshes. So obviously if you wanna abuse this you can, I'm not gonna do it, but it's a thing you can do. One thing you'll notice that I will be doing a lot is whenever I wanna use backlash and I'm behind my enemy I'll take one step back, so I end up backstabbing. Obviously. With some enemies, opportunity attacks, uh, it will not work. But most of the time, I just want to stay behind someone. Get rid of that oil, get here. I'm taking a lot of damage. I don't want to die yet. Coming up here for. Uh, this scroll, more money, and this wand. Which is gonna be how I clear things without spells. Equip this fire wand and shoot fire projectiles. I can kill someone now or later. do it now. Uh, wait a bit for my backlash. If you start a fight with this on CD, when it's your turn it recovers. So the way to do this, I don't have adrenaline so let's just do something like this. Knock those two, get behind this guy, um, move a bit so he doesn't get to attack. I could encourage but let's Leave them do their thing. This fight is interesting. Because it's one of the two fights, I think, in the game where you go first no matter what. So uh, Beast is supposed to go first, but when you join, you get a uh, turn. What causes Beast to have 6 AP and you take a bit longer to go later. Because you're not supposed to go first. There's nothing dangerous about this fight. They will just kill the voidlings on their own. Greet the Reaper for me. I thought Void Woken was supposed to be scary. I face worse. I'll yield to none. If NPCs have no enemies close, they will just do dumb shit sometimes. Alright, I can... 
I can just throw a knife, that's it. I get buff to do more damage, but it doesn't make a difference. Hopefully we get a fossil strike or a grenade, that's fine. I could loot for some extra money, but we make a pretty meh. good team. And now you can't go into this thing now. Wait, where... For some reason you have to stay here and be left for that. Attack the Kraken for no reason. I just have to wait a bit. Right about now, should be good. Those void woken made short bloody work of a ship. Right. Am I this kid the lone survivor? It seems so I'll be using Fibery now. Me alive. And this kid has a chance to have a ring or a belt. You can check his inventory, you can steal. It's basically the same result. And I get. Uh, uh, I get something. Not what I wanted though. I'll keep the balloon though and the lockpicks. Alright, what do I want now? We can get uh, probably polymorph for. Void woken. Those are the same I don't want to do this right now. Ship. Let's just get Damn, to town. Made it to sh one two to dismiss Sir Laura. I don't want him following me around. I'm messing up my pathing. <coughs> Alright, either get polymorph, pyro potentially, or morph. Scoundrel Warfer. We're gonna go with Polymorph. Thirteen Wits is more than enough. Let's go full finesse for now. Get the shovel up here. I've spotted something. Don't know how many wits you need for this, but you can just walk up here and use the shovel. I'll keep this. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen some some chests and shit that only need uh, no knife, that's nice. That only need like uh, 10 wits. I'm gonna go here specifically to get this barrel. I wonder where this leads. I get a better knife. Also, there's a chest there where I went. I can't see anymore. So you might get something. Get the yarrow flower for a quest. I uh, don't think I'm killing Dalis on this playthrough, mainly because I'm melee, but it could be done, it's just a bit tedious. We'll just walk through the ladders. Come on then, this is not and spam one here, 900 experience. You could get into a fight and they die now. I don't want to do it now. Get the waypoint. Drop my barrel here. And now, combine. But what I'm doing is I am poisoning everything. 
I am adding poison damage to all my weapons, which is bad against undead, but it's gonna be more expensive and I get more money. Uh, can you kill her at level 2? Uh, yeah, telekinesis. Start with telekinesis. Where is this? Start with telekinesis, get your second point. Start looting barrels. One shot her. Well, let's go with Nevora, which is gonna be the main trader. Nevora always has a green ring. I got unlucky, I got summoning. If it's Pyro. Warfare, Hydro, potentially Huntsman, I can do something with this. Summoning is useless to me. Let's say I'm giving her 465. With, fair, uh, yeah, with zero attitude. Let's not do that. Let's give her two of these. And four gold. She's got a hundred attitude. I get almost the same. I get like 10 less. But now the attitude is a hundred. Everything becomes cheaper. And I'm gonna keep selling. So the value from the attitude will, will be higher and higher later. Alright, I'm here. I get polymorph, scoundrel, warfare. I probably want another skill at this point. I'm just gonna walk around clearing quests. So this is so she's story. down there walking here. Perhaps if those bleeding wolves did me. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, you go. Uh, this you is potentially good. Got to sell around here. I'll get it. Why don't you take it? At the start of the game, finesse and warfare, uh, down here experience, finesse and warfare are basically the same because you, you have you no stats whatsoever, name, yeah? but it it adds Got up. It. Talk to this guy once. When he says supplies is when you trigger the quest. And this is not the intended way to do this. Rest now, or you'll hide yourself to the grave. I'm keeping liquor, I'm keeping this from the start. And now we're doing... Frightfully busy at the moment. Look at poor fella over there, crossed one of Immediately when I finish this conversation... Don't... And I get 3 times 250. You can get the other... Like this is the max experience you can get. Usually you get the 250 from killing him. But if you're fast enough, you get about three times here. Is that thing we get the arrow flower for this guy. The creature you now a little the cre the, the cre spam whatever. Sometimes they're good stuff here. Not so good now. It's another Digging spot here. We keep the ring for now. What I'm doing now is just getting as much, as much experience as possible without even fighting anything. Ah, that's a bad chest. Let's ignore this thing for now. There's another this? chest here. I this is the something. first undestructible chest you can get. If you're doing some telekinesis memes, this is where you go. I get pants with dodge. Uh, could be worse. And this is the part where I can loot it or I can just directly teleport back because it's faster than walking. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine. If you have 12 or more rock. wits, you get this option. You hit. If you go talk to the skeleton man in the cave, uh, he gives you this for free, even with 10 wits. This box sometimes has expensive loot, not so much this time. Nah. 
I'm gonna go back. Yeah, because I have enough money. Since I've got Polymorph, I'll get Invisibility here. I can use it simply because uh, it gives me a bit more experience here. So, how much is this? 312. Uh, might not have enough money, maybe. 100 as well. Okay, good. I don't want to give her anything because when I eventually kill her, what I want are books, which are expensive. Uh, invisibility is always equal because that's the key I can press on my keyboard. Snake right around where the blood is. And I keep tapping. Right. Just a bit here because uh, right. pathing is really good. It's You're really right. good. Yeah, it's awful around this oil. <laughs> Get the prison key. God, no, blood, you you go. And I can just walk over here. Get the amulet, which is more money. Oh, back here. At the start of the game, you don't have money, you don't have skills, you don't have gear. So just uh, just walk around looting what you can. This is the route I use most of the time on my playthroughs. Because it avoids most fights. I'll get three without fighting, basically. You need wits to see this, I don't know how much. Or you can talk to the skeleton and you'll see it for free. If you're undead, you can just walk through. I just do that. Looks like this place has been sealed up because it's annoying to... getting poisoned. There's a chest up here in the corner. Maybe I get a book. Oh, terrible book. The true jar is this one. Here lies Withermore the supplicant. In conversation he will tell you he's the supplicant. I don't have the 15 wits to see this. So I'll just uh actually I do. Exactly as I planned. You notice a deep That's a lot of money right there. Combine that book with Necro. What do you want about? Necro doesn't combine with uh, Warfare. It's elemental plus non-elemental. Even if, even if Necro is arguably elemental, it's not. Well out of sight of the magisters. I forgot to kill Verdas, which means I am gonna be 75 experience short of three. And this is right. I don't know if this was intentional. I think it was, but this to me is really good game design because you get one of the first doors that require lockpicks. I already have them though, so I can just. You know, open the door. Let's say you're a living character with thievery but no lockpicks. You get here, you get the nails, you get the hammer. Bam, lockpicks. For free. Get the experience here. I don't get three because of Berdas. I forgot of. I forgot about him. And I also get lockpicks for this. You get uh, four for each um, for each nail. Not getting useful loot though. Uh, just loot whatever expensive. Like in this case, it's gonna be the paintings. Another piece of mine. 
there's always blood rain there. Move this thing. You don't need telekinesis for it. I might keep this. I keep this. One, two, three. Uh, no book. Mm. I'm gonna kill Verdas just to restore the inventories. Should have done it before. Every time you level up, or every in game hour since you leveled up, the inventory for the traders resets. They get new stuff. And what's more important, more money. <laughs> I get three here. Uh, my second talent. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps, uh, and necro. Metal, hmm. The woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm. <laughs> Necro is not useful for me at the start. <laughs> Note, let's look at this. I got Warfare, look at my damage. It looks great, it's not because it's kinda split. Plus, my weapons are level 1 and level 2. Not very good. So we're gonna get. Hmm. Let me see. Opa. When I tap, you pull out your weapons. I should unbind that. Uh, we're probably gonna get. Nah. We're fine with more warfare, honestly. At four, I will get uh, a scoundrel for this. Extra skills. Now here is when we make the choice. What do we want? More skills. Uh, what else can we get? As opportunist is okay-ish. I might get it. Torturer. Yeah, I think we're getting opportunist here. And um, for this. I will get uh, finesse, 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 finesse. And now, what I want before starting any fights, I can equip this. <laughs> I want new daggers, new weapons. Because uh, I am level 3 and my weapons are terrible. So let's talk to Hilda. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Okay, they are you white. Can blame with the mm. garbage they got for sale around here. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves didn't eat so much. It's the 150 for Hilda because she's gonna be the second trader I use. And she's got my skills. I don't want adrenaline yet. I could get it though. Why don't you take Just leave her there for later? I know she's got daggers, I just want to see if there's something better. So I'll get Chicken Claw here. I'll talk to this guy. He's gonna be racist because I'm human. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Dual welding, slightly more damage. Initiative, uh, but it's not a dagger. I'm not gonna buy much from this guy, so just just buy the dagger as it is. Level two. Uh, I don't need any of this, so I'll pick whatever is most most expensive. This head has. First aid, but I'm not an elf and I don't want first aid. These things, the barricades, are 500 kilos each. 
So either you break them or you come with telekinesis. I'm just here to get the experience. I will come back later for the frogs. You can't get me. We're gonna get a plus one to memory. I've spotted something. Before starting the fights for real. Occasionally there's good stuff here. Usually on the chest. Forty-five is not terrible. All right, this thing. Help. I got Help ten strength. Please. I'm too weak. Stuck fast. Still too weak. Uh, it's stuck fast. Just about right. Uh, I've got Good madam. Spam one. Spam one. He dies. Loot the belt. I get one more memory, and I get a spear, which is potentially useful, but not really. Get out of here. I've done what I needed for now. I'm gonna get my second dagger. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Who could blame you with the garbage they got? Why don't you take it? Every time I shop, I wanna clear my inventory as much as possible, so I'll leave. Like the expensive things, like this amulet, which is like one slot, and sell everything else that's uh, staking up space. Alright, let's combine my daggers. You see, my damage now is slightly better. Warfare, a bit of dual welding. And we are almost ready to start fighting. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, uh, da, 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 da. the woman is the hypo sniper. So we go back to the start. And we equip chicken claw. These guys has, have really small vision. I'm just, just getting close to start with a knockdown. Oh, I got interrupted. Right, that's a lot of damage. What happens if I'm too far away to get the backstab damage? I don't want to move and waste AP and Throwing knife is not really efficient, so I'll just move for free. End my turn. And I move for free again. He instantly dies. Look at my damage. I thought these bloody collars were supposed to drown and eaten by a void. I get some money. I wonder in which order. And I'm just making my way to this uh, area with the turtles and whatnot. <laughs> There's a What's zombie this? here. I found you actually need wits to see this thing. I don't know how many though. And this is where my knives with poison are gonna <laughs> not be that great. Right, one important thing about opportunist with daggers. You wanna be as close as possible. Because daggers have little range. And your skills in general have 2 meter range. But your weapons have 0 0.8. Which means if you use this from far away and the chicken runs, you don't get opportunity attack. You need to be close. Gonna delay for double movement if I need it, which I kinda do. We can do this, like a three AP. I don't really like it, so I'll get 
oh, as close as possible. And I get the last movement for free. Without wasting the extra AP to get there. It doesn't always work, only when you're right at the edge. But it's quite nice. Notice how the extra damage from poison, like not on the zombie, but everywhere else is pretty good. Yeah, if you get interrupted, you only do one hit. Fane's also undead. And I miss. Hmm. That's kind of fine, because he's gonna move, hopefully. I'm just killing Fang for the bug. He's got uh, um, he's got some items and whatnot. I'll just pick whatever is uh, actually expensive. Everything else is for sale. You hear a small whimpering sound. First option, the child third option, you get experience, you get the scroll. And now this woman is pretty strong, or rather I'm pretty weak. But she doesn't aggro right away. Since I'm human... Go, get out! You are not welcome here. She eyes. Please. Well, she's racist, so what can I do? I'm um, going first. Hmm. She thought walk it off actually, so chicken only for one. This is like a scripted no thing. Go. If the girl is close, comes into the fight, gives her uh, first armor, Quiet, child. Run. Now. and it takes my turn, which is the annoying thing, but it refreshes my ZDs. One more turn. There's a fireball here, which is... Oh, your fourth bedroll is here, or potentially, uh, where is it? Here, where I got the shovel. There's another bedroll there. And there's some all around Fort Joy. Keep the nails for my boots eventually. Turtles. I can start with one attack, I can kill one right away. This is a fantastic fight for when you're melee. What's happening to these turtles? They're they're transforming. Uh that's an interesting part about backlash. When backlash hits it counts as me being here, so I don't get hit by the explosion, but I still get hit by the by the surface. Throwing knife is good for this kind of thing, so we're gonna go invisible here, recover AP, recover CDs. Oh, I was too close. Never mind. That's gonna be a problem because I'm gonna get hit by impalement. Oh. 
looks nice of that turtle. <laughs> Gonna delay here because I know they don't have range attacks and other than throwing a knife, there's not much I can do. So let's get this for extra HP, a bit more damage. Mm. Miss. And now let's out the save here. Because I will die immediately when I do this. Or not, because the second one didn't explode, that's fine. Chicken. Get away. And knife. If they both explode, I will die. Um, burning, or it doesn't show. Easy fight. If you come here at level 2 without skills, uh, you can just attack from far away with any ranged weapon. Uh, it's a pretty easy fight, but I wanted to show like the melee way. If I get blue essences, that'd be nice. Just one. I also get the this one, which is money. What's this? I found something. And there's a chest here. Uh, nothing good. Did I open this? I feel like I didn't. Yeah, I did. Alright, this part is only... I'm only gonna go back with the Iro guy. <laughs> Alright, so let's get some more skills. Let's get the adrenaline, chloroform. Why don't you take it? Mm. This is the part where I can potentially get Pyro. So this goes like this. Depending on what rings I get from Nebora, I will pick one skill or another. If I get Pyro, I get Haste, peace of mind. If I don't get Pyro, or, uh, sorry, if I get Geo, I will get Venom Coating early. So it depends on what I get. You can save scan uh, to get the rings you want. It's really useful when you're playing Summoner. So you get the tank as soon as possible. But uh, I'll just play with what I get. Uh, this is Tactician because I plan on dying doing stupid things. Uh, let me think about this. We could... We could steal later, we could steal now. Uh, let's do it later. Huh? What? And they are the dro no, Druden, it made before, but just so you see. Alright. I cannot give back. Finesse will me. always work. Not only for myself, but for all of us. You don't need persuasion for this. Blood. Fine. Fine. Right, we get the orange. We'll deliver this in a second. Let's get some more skills. This is too close. And chloroform, which will be three. Hides in and out, and here you are. Ah, you want we can see it is nothing. Uh, you can spam two to get the ruby, and this guy also has four nails. Which is something I want for later. More lockpicks, more uh, more nails for my boots. It's a very it's very cheap and it's always there. Spam one. You get the restoration scroll. This guy, I might steal from him now. He's got an invisibility potion, oil flask, more money. Skip this one. 
Corrupts. There's a crab here, we're gonna kill her. If you uh, use skills too fast, sometimes it does nothing. Place the animation, but it doesn't hit. No reason other than the experience. Um, the crocodiles are a surprisingly difficult fight. I'm very strong now. This chest always has rain. So if you want rain, but not buying rain, just come here. I'll take off throwing knife for adrenaline. And I'll probably take off chicken claw, maybe. Mm. No, this seems like a good loadout. Right, I'm gonna get hit a few times for the oil thingies. I wanna kill this guy. If I can, I wanna kill this guy first. Don't miss. Right, let's go. We go invisible, pass to delay the last one. And now this should be something like this. Get behind this one. One attack. Move whatever I can. Move some more. Don't miss. I don't wanna do anything else, so I'll encourage and move whatever I can. This guy was a chicken the whole time, and I am going for it. I don't wanna get hit by opportunity attacks, so... One miss. Just in case I miss more. And that's the crocodiles with the rogue. You can use range weapons. It goes slightly better. And we got teleport. Which I'll be using for a while until I get... Uh, what is it called? Uh, Iro too. There's a chest there. Hopefully, dodge. Mm. Not that good. Nothing else I have to get here. Let's go back town. I got the gloves, so I'll send this guy. You. You there. Say you are. Case, blah blah blah. Are you interested? There's an artist. I already have the item. So give me your I get the experience and he starts moving. For this fight. I want chloroform. Let's send Magister Jarrow. You there? Have you seen him? You have seen him and you're she inspects this cat. Give her the ring. I lose uh I lose restoration, it's fine, and there's another ring that gives restoration. I got the sparkler, so just get close. Why don't you you glance at your hat Ralvo? Now where do you get If you I think I can't remember now. I think it's the second one. 
and the third one they will go hostile. Go. You get a hundred gold for this, which is uh, it's actually a lot at the start. Let's see if I can start with this. No, that's fine. Twenty. Uh, this is not gonna be enough. Adrenaline. Uh, invisibility. I could reposition it slightly, but I kinda wanna keep the positions they have under this. Teleport damage scales with uh, with warfare actually, and intelligence as well. I broke the loot here. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, they are knocked down, so I'll whenever all the enemies are knocked down or stunned or whatever, if I can delay and get a double turn, it allows me to move. Plan my movement slightly better. I won't let me move like I want. So when I when I wanna go through a corpse, I just click here and escape. It stops it stops movement. It was a bit too early though. And there we go. That's what I want. Backed up here. Easy fight. I broke uh, the grenade and uh, something else. I don't need that much money on this character, but it's always nice. Especially when we get to Driftgood. You need to wait slightly when the fight starts, or your animation plays, but it does nothing. Just gonna cling around the low level enemies. You can pre-buff if you want. Right, we can do this. Ignore everyone there. What do you mean to do that? And to make sure she dies. Flurry, because it's three hits. And I am less likely to miss three hits than just two. Since Nebora, I paid Nebora and she's now an ally. So everyone that's an ally with Nebora is now in this fight helping me. If you've seen the pacifist run, you know how this works more or less. But it can be can be tricky sometimes. No HP or no H no AP. The non-allied part of this, it means that I could potentially hit these guys with a uh, battle stomp. Uh, I don't think an hour has passed. Amidst a crowd of no. screws, bolt. That's a problem with getting too much stuff at the start. You don't have anyone to sell it to. I could. Potentially go to Griff. No need to. <laughs> I 
Right, we're gonna fight these guys. One of the reasons I don't trigger this cat thing is because two of the magisters here will move here after they're gone. So this is the ideal time to fight. Let me move this out of the way so I can position myself better. I should have changed back to Chicken Claw. Hi. Trying to get far away from this woman is not gonna work because she has range here. Good thing is the dog... The dog can go up the ladder so we're fine here. So... If I can move right there... And not miss. If I didn't miss, he could be dead. It's the problem with not using peace of mind. There's a chance he dies, and if he doesn't, I get uh, I get battle stomp next turn, so I can hit the uh, AOE. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, he doesn't die. That's still fine. Right, backlash is more AP efficient than auto attacks. So whenever I can use it and I don't need the movement, I will use it. Chloroform just to make sure I don't miss. I could use Adrenaline and finish him off. But let's not. I'm gonna delay so I can unload everything. And put him to sleep. Now you could think that there's no need to use adrenaline, but yeah, it's gonna be two misses. Maybe not, but it could be. So just to be a hundred percent sure, which is not even a hundred because I could miss four times in a row. But anyway, just for safety. Right, I have got. Uh, 1.7, what am I missing? Oh, I haven't delivered this thing. Yeah. Hello, Onion, you're right. I'm gonna get four here, potentially. Yes, for sure. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. Griff looks like everything's a cat. That's a kid. You can be a snitch here. There's no terrible consequences. It is done. And you get more experience later. Ignore this guy, get the amulet. And now that we have four, we get the scoundrel too. And one more memory. Every, every even level, you get a plus one to your slots. 
that you wanted. We can get rid of this for now. Good. We need for a couple of specific fights, we need 16 initiative. Because later on they have more. But for now, I reckon it's good enough. So I wanna keep them in finesse, at least until next level. I got extremely, extremely high damage in case hey, it was not clear. A little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? We can potentially get uh, got for sale around here. level 4 knives. But uh, my level 3 green is as good and better because of the dual welding. So if it's not green, it's not worth. Let's get Cloak face. and Daga, Rapture Tendons, and Piercing Knife. Super expensive, but I've got a lot of money. Won't you take a... This is actually three. Throwing knife is seven, and flurry is eight. Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? I might be missing something. Yeah, I'll it. It will come back to me. Right, uh, let's check Nebora. Hopefully, I get Warfare, Scoundrel, Pyro. Probably not. Amidst a crowd of screaming and I get bolts and Geo. straps of metal, hmm. the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. Uh, she doesn't look up as you approach. Saying this is a bad. Uh, it's a bad moment to get you. Because this is not what I wanted. Because right now I am slightly low, quote unquote, low on money. So I buy this, I buy another scoundrel uh, book, another geo book, and suddenly. Never mind. And suddenly I have no money. Warfare. Amidst the so I know she has this. So I can come back if I want Venom Coating. But we're going... Uh, this is here just in case I need it, but we're gonna sell it. Cloak and Daga, uh, right here, so it's gonna be... Yeah, just like that. This is tactical retreat, this is haste, this is peace of mind. Every time my hotbar is gonna be like that. Talk to this woman. And get whatever is expensive here. Frost armor is nice. I could fight them now, but I wanna have a few more resources. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. No green dagger, unfortunate. I will never I sell fine. my stuff to fine. traders I haven't paid. Because you kind of yes. lose some money. It is as you said. Single handed is useless, but it's more damage, I guess. And a blue potion which goes there. It doesn't have poison, but these frogs are immune to poison. Except the blue one, but uh, I mean, not a big deal. There's always a there's always a figure here on contamination. I have to wait for Cloak and Daga. So what is good here? Hmm. So we have two options here, which is basically we can kill one and stay. Or, we can keep Cloak and Daga. I 
can do some weird thing here. If I have haste, it would be nice for the extra AP. It's still fine. Now let's do something like this. I'm gonna save. You know, just because if I die, I don't wanna come back here again. Get close for the potential attack of opportunity. Because from where I was, I don't get opportunity attack. I thought I was hitting the barricade. The strategy here is making them waste time. Uh, don't miss. Get out of the poison and go invisible. What I want here is to kill this thing because it can stun me and that would be problematic. So make sure this one doesn't bother me for a bit. And uh, I'm gonna waste one AP of movement. It's probably the first time I do it. Uh, just to make sure. Use my Pong to get closer. Mm. I'm gonna have 3 AP and it's gonna be up. It's not much I can do, I'm gonna take a couple hits probably. So I will delay here. <laughs> the electricity went away. Well. One thing about teleport and backstabbing is the backstab, the backstab cone is this way. So when I teleport, I need to make sure it's on this orientation. So right here should be fine. So I can move slightly and get backstab. Chicken claw or yeah. Again, notice how I get closer, so I don't actually miss the opportunity attack. Easy fight. You could do these fights at level 2 or 3, but obviously they become harder and harder the more, the longer you take to kill the frogs. Plus you can get perma stand. Ah, uh, this one is nice, decaying touch. For any melee character, maybe not for battle mages though, but any kind of physical melee character, decaying touch is great. Scrolls, I mean, because it's only one AP. So if you if you need to finish someone off and have these scrolls, at least do go for it. I'm looking for uh, green daggers. Nothing else to take here. I miss this thing. <laughs> Notice how having low memory is not really a problem. This thing does help a lot though. 
am I unlike? And this woman will give in, the frogs are... will give us a reward experience when all the frogs are gone. Other than murdering everyone, there's nothing else to do here. Right, what I wanna do now is get rid of chloroform, get chicken claw. Rapture tendons. Oh, another stun. Medicine. What a shame. That looks good. Although I have no invisibility for this fight. So if I have haste, I cast right here. So I can get a uh, hair invisibility potion. But this should be fine anyway. Regards from Griff. I think I got it. No, I didn't. I'm just waiting for the right moment to start. This should be when he casts Fireball so I don't get hit. Lots of people are gonna die. It's probably closer to trying to be completionist. How would you say that? And do as much as possible. I'm looking for the right time to attack, which should be right about now. Silence has 15 initiative. So. Uh, She's gonna go first. Nothing to do here. Chicken rapture tendons. There's a 50% chance she moves. That's not a backstab. That's how the combo goes. I'm just gonna delay. There's a different... Uh, I don't know, a different mechanic for side backstabs. You should get full damage, you don't. Because usually it will say critically backstab. And this is just backstab without the extra crit damage. I don't know why it happens, it might be a bug. Anyway, experience. I lost one invisibility potion because I was too slow. It doesn't matter. Thank you. I get the experience for this guy and I'm gonna get haste, I'm gonna get peace of mind and this one just in case. I got a crit <laughs> even though it was not a backstab. Miss, of course. And I get more books. So we are keeping this. And this is just money. We could kill Sabil here because I need one more bug. Uh, is my attack... What's my strongest attack? Probably this. Almost. How you play some weapons like this? We go here, I grab this barrel, combine. Opa. I should keep my inventory open for this. Bam, poison damage. And it's uh, pretty much infinite. Obviously, not good for undead characters. Or rather, undead enemies. But uh, amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, 
the damage applies to my damage applies to my piercing knife so all the damage you see here which is split uh, poison physical is gonna be piercing so let's say I hit with this for 30 damage 170 so that's gonna be 30 it's gonna be 51 pure damage which is I mean it's pretty good it's more than half my HP Alright, for this clown we're gonna use all of this. Right, this guy, there's a patrol guy. I need to get closer to actually load him in. But he will eventually come this way, and this is where we fight. Because uh, I don't think I'm ready to do this with Paladin Cork. I might actually switch this for Cloak and Dagger. So here's how it's gonna work. I'm gonna buff. It's gonna see me. And I'm gonna delay. So now we do some backlash. Rupture tendons. One, two. One, two. And go up. It's a bit dangerous because I could aggro these guys. But uh, should be fine. It's gonna take a bit of damage. And um, who says a bit says a million damage and just kill himself. We're gonna do this, which we didn't do before. Um, what have we here? This one is good. Invis I need invisibility. So let's see what's useful here. These three are good. Invisibility is necessary. I need some kind of stun. Either chicken claw or potentially both. But chloroform is useful, throwing knife is useful, and cloak and dagger I think it's better. So let's do something like this. And what we're gonna do is 50 HP, or rather armor. Um, I'll go around if I have to. I unfortunately can understand that language, whatever it is. We're gonna save because this could go very wrong. I can't rest, but I can encourage. Problem with rogues is really difficult to flank them because of the because of the small range. So I could get backstabbed for no reason. Or I could fucking miss. What? I'll send this guy somewhere far away. Because I missed. Otherwise I was gonna use chicken. So this guy is the dangerous one because he's got uh, backlash and he's got chicken claw. So this is not a position I want to be in. And I can't backstab like I want. Maybe if he's smaller.
There we go. We're still fine. So we'll do something like this. One, two. Adrenaline. I'm crippled, so I can't really jump away. Uh, we can stay here. Looks safe. So what can I do here? Mm. No backlash. Alright, so this is 23 to 30. He's got 24. Let's play it safe. Get a bit more damage. Just in case I roll low. And we're gonna reposition here. Delay. It's not a rogue guided, it's rogue and then guided playthrough. Alright, now let's send this guy up here. Against melee enemies. Just split them. Mm. Don't have chicken claw. But I do have sucker punch. Let's look at my damage, it's gonna be, uh, even with this, I don't think it's enough. No, my max damage I think is 51. So if I roll 30, 70%, it's gonna be 51. This guy doesn't die. So what we're gonna do is chicken and run away like a coward. Probably use adrenaline. Just to make sure I don't get crippled. When it's big movements, I don't wanna just click and forget. Because I wanna position myself properly right in this corner. Yeah, I could block the ladder. Right, we're gonna... I reckon I have vision on this guy. Nah. We're gonna reset to see this. <laughs> Chill for a bit. Mobility is very important in this game, even if you are melee. Same as before, when I teleport enemies, look at the cone. It's going there. Like I said, this is bugged, so now it's gonna refresh. It doesn't matter, I recovered it when I was invisible. But we're gonna, not gonna 
abused so much. The poison, he was dead right there. But he's still a chicken, not much he can do. Uh, uh, blue dagger could be nice. I'm gonna switch real quick to crossbow so I can sneak right away because throwing knife uh, locks me into the animation but I just want to spawn these guys let's look at what they have All right low armor low armor normal armor actually low as well and there's another one here, uh, it's not loaded. So what I want here is probably... Start with Teleport, Backlash and Knockdown. I'm not gonna use Chicken Claw. No. Encourage for a tiny bit more damage. Right about there should be fine. Well, looking at his HP. I think he dies next turn. Uh, also, just move away. I don't think they reach. But I'm a bit scared of these guys because it's all magical damage. Except the archer. High roll, don't miss. Don't miss again. Position whatever I can, just stay put. <laughs> Might need to use extra AP here. Hope not. Nah, we're good. It's looking this way, so backstab right there. And I am not entirely sure if I care about the mobility or or the DPS, so to speak. I don't have adrenaline, I don't know if I can kill him. I get a knockdown. They are pretty far, so what I'm gonna do is yeah, try to kill him as fast as possible. Forty-four. That's uh, quite low. Right. Same as before. Try to get as far as possible. As long as the movement is for free. And I got adrenaline. Don't miss. worth that's okay that's not okay I want them to split damage to me that's a lot of damage right there
I shouldn't die. It, I might die there. I got 7% dodge. Which is not gonna be necessary, I think. Obviously, I, I planned for this. Making use of my HP up to the last point. We must be tied on, on initiative. That's very problematic. So how does this work now? Who has to die? Mm. I did playthrough is just me playing the game and explaining why I do the things I do. Like strategically getting low at 1 HP just so I make them waste their time. I don't want to break the jar though. I'm a bit worried, this guy is also tied, so he's gonna get up and kill me. I'll, I'll save, just in case. Nah, we're fine. Easy fight. Right, there's a... Uh, have I got peace of mind? Not yet. Nah. These things are 13 strength to be open. So let's just get out of here. There's not gonna be much anyway. That's uh, nice. I want movement. It comes from a scoundrel. It comes from <laughs> from the boots. Really nice. Oh wait, I can't use them because they're strength. Never mind. I uh, will try to do as much as possible. Some fights are gonna be just. Oh, that's nice timing. Some fights are just gonna be. Awful for this kind of character. Mm, I shouldn't use these uh, these skills, but HP thing, one HP thing. Uh, maybe we'll see. I wanted to kill with the opportunity attack, show how you can intimidate range characters, but obviously I will miss. Uh, 
I'm actually not gonna open this yet. Uh, we've cleared most of the easy fights. I'm thinking if there's anything else. Well, there's more loot here. There's another chest inside which I will teleport in a second. Critical, I don't want critical. I didn't get this. You can as soon as you get four, or even earlier if you've got a party, just go up there and get uh, experience on the sword. I'm keeping this in case I get something with strength. I'll not use it. I only care about daggers, really. <laughs> and there's a chest that hopefully has a chest. Yeah, chest inside a chest, hopefully with warfare. That's better, I guess. Alright, what's in outside? We can go with this guy right here. Oh, I wanna do the cutscene first though. I'll send him. Just wanna make sure he he's in position. I repeat myself. But really slow. But I know nothing of any verdas. Stay with I just don't want to get pushed by the geist. I guess this is faster. Otherwise, I, I have to wait until everyone moves. The leg is important, so Niles doesn't get glitchy. And we are gonna fight this too, probably. <laughs> mm, this is not an easy fight. Like, right away. So I'll get some distance. Oh, she doesn't aggro. Fantastic. Alright, and this is probably enough to kill her if I don't miss. Just like that. If I don't miss. Get some distance and make sure he wastes the CP. Thank you, Link Lord. And now I don't have enough damage to break his armor. Maybe I do. I do a lot of damage. But I'll, I will probably miss. If I didn't have to, if I didn't miss there, she could be dead without me wasting backslash, and I could do all my thing here. But that's the problem with not running peace of mind. You don't get a hundred hit chance.
Like, for characters that use weapons, kinda reminds me of Diablo 2, in that you only need your weapons to be able to do a lot of damage. In casters, it's the other way around, your weapons don't matter at all. So you can just... Oh, let's get rid of this. And probably a single knockdown. I don't know if I wanna keep Cloak and Daga. <laughs> mm, let's go like this. A bit uh, rude, I could say. I got one knockdown, so let's kill this guy first. I can always miss, of course, but I'm not going to. Mm, yeah, let's stay like this. Probably not the right choice to get Rapture Tendons here, but... If I miss the backlash, I get another auto attack. Slightly too much, I'll take the hit. <laughs> I'll take another hit. She doesn't want to move, I guess, too much. Never mind. Oh! 
Uh, she should be dead now. Lots of damage coming up. Lots of misses as well. <laughs> mm, we're pretty much done with Fort Joy. There's a couple more fights which we can do. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scrap. I'm looking for where this dog is going. Right here, that's fine. Get rid of jump, get this one. This is a bit risky. I'll just do that. Careful. Don't want to catch Griff in a bad mood. As always, teleport to send the problematic enemies away, and this guy will die to the bleed. Hmm. Not quite ready for this. That's my help. Because I'm allied with Hilda, as soon as I, as soon as she get, uh, she sees that I'm in combat, everyone will join. Now everyone is just going to be doing a bit of damage to the dog and when it's my turn he immediately dies. Uh, that's, I think, all the people I want to kill before leaving Fort Joy. <laughs> Just having teleport for all these fights gives you a lot of room to work with. Yes, yeah, just keep replace uh, repositioning enemies in bad places. Come, this way in the back. Follow me. Right, and there's a. Uh, 
There's a sweet spot here. Perfect. Now, teleport me to that mossy rock across the gulch, just by the torch. Or I can get him right away, so I don't have to do two teleports. But I'm waiting for Cloak and Daga, so I can get next to him. Even the air smells better here above that pit. Thanks for the help, and good luck getting yourself out. <laughs> Oh, what? I should have checked his inventory at least once. I lost all the books there. Hmm. Unfortunate. I don't think that one counts as escaping. No, otherwise the dogs would be hostile. We have these two... These two Magisters down here. sure about this. Something like that should work. What the fly? Well, the as it's Thing exactly twenty. We're gonna use chicken. I could use this one, but uh, let's wait a bit because he's got the restoration. Maybe it was enough with adrenaline. gonna bash me in the face. That skill is amazing. sure about this. It's a bit too close if I miss. <laughs> Still enough, should be. I count my extra damage as 70% of whatever sets here. So if it's 11 minimum, it's gonna be 7 points, so 18. I know he's gonna get knocked down for sure. Might even roll a bit higher. Obviously this kind of thing is possible because I know more or less how much damage I'm gonna do. But it's also a bit risky because I could miss. And then he's gonna decay me, a heal point. me and bash That's me in the face. The, divine, but... the boy stands Who are you? I'm Han. I've a boat here with pay mm. I'm not gone yet. Or 
wait, wait, wait. I don't really want to do Niles with these weapons. I could do it the safe way and we're good. Smell. I think I'm going to be sick. So the leg, which I looted before, is for this. Mm. He reaches out and <gasps> please come in. Ask if there's oh, anything else he wants. Well, sugar, now that you should mention it. I do, I do smell something quite delicious on you. Almost smells like a magister I once knew. One I never could convince to visit me here. Atusa by name. For perfectly legitimate reasons. Whatever it is, Puppet. He squeezed. Bless you. Alright, what that's gonna do is if we don't go into a fight right away because the way fights work in this place when he aggros is really weird if you get close to the area you get into a fight immediately I'm not sure why it's really annoying so we're gonna try to clear some of these enemies first I will survive the explosion. Uh, 67. These guys, for some reason, when they die, they do fire damage. I think I was a bit too far. But it's like a smallish radius. What is this? Some sort of uh, I might get a purple dagger. Purple stuff. Eh. Could be better. Holy hellhounds! Those dogs sound out for blood. Not sure if this works without. Without fire out. Uh, should be fine. No, it's not fine. Mm. I don't want to fight this like this. It's too dangerous and I will die for no reason. adrenaline from invisibility or sneaking it's completely fine just wanna get out of range this looks like a good angle but it's not Oh, this guy is still here. I might... Yeah, I might fight from here. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're just gonna pretend we are not here. Oh. Mm, go away again. I might wait for level 5 so we can just kill them faster. This is a bit too slow. Even though I'm like very close. So getting out of Fort Joy will give me 14.4k. The sturdy. It's gonna take six times. If you're missing any of this, it's because there's a quest you haven't finished. Or that's the case for me, like every time, because I forgot. Usually because I forget the to send the Iro guy. Or something like that. <laughs> but yeah. If you don't get the full experience, just reload and complete whatever you have left. Before going anywhere, I'm gonna get the waypoint. Talk to Saluscar. The hooded man exudes a restrained menace that He's got the arrow. Your own. As he raises his head, the hood falls back, revealing the gleaming bone visage of an undead. 300. 350, maybe. Yeah, 350 because he's higher level. I unfortunately can't use any of those. Perhaps I can. But yeah, level five. Now I get another round of shopping. And uh, at this point, the magisters are hostile, which is why I killed them before. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, Scoundrel is the good. woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up. I want you. Usually, by this point, what I do is just rush towards, uh, towards the Amadia Sanctuary. Hey, you're a little uh, like right now, I'm looking girl. for a dagger. Who could blame you? Won't you take or two, better than the ones I have. It doesn't matter if I get those white ones, I guess. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Oof, that's nice. Right, let's get out of here, go back here, outside. So here's the thing. You get 14k for getting out, 13k for the worms, and you get 6k for forgetting and healing people in in the sanctuary. Oh, so that's strange. about I'm how much mistaken. is that? 30k, oh, which is enough to get this? you to six I found something. plus some other couple quests. I'm not gonna poison this one yet. These plants look truly oh. sinister. They're arranged in a ring. Is that a natural occurrence? I just teleport this thing outside. Another indestructible chest to make barriers or more telekinesis. This thing gives peace of mind if you're an elf. Um, let's do this fight, I think. I don't have pattern ram though. I'll, I'll come back in a second. So if I do this fight, 
plus everything in a Madia Sanctuary, I get uh, 31k. Enough to go straight to level 6. I'm not gonna do this fight, I don't have initiative for it. I need, uh, I need 16. But I need 16 at level 6, so I could get a Daga with plus 3. Which is what I'm not putting points into wits at all. Hopefully I get the dagger, that's good enough. Up on the left, huh? Wait. Bahara spawns wherever side you walk through. So if you go through this one, she spawns here. If you go through the right, she spawns there. Straight for Gatran, Eldor, Gratiana. Her body wreathed in cloth. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Ah, uh, we get this ring. Mm, I could get the. Uh... Huntsman. Nah. I'm happy with what I got. Amadi is very well. Don't care about anything she says. A young man in oversized armor paces around a table covered with a script Cripple. of maps, his face a tight scowl of frustration. Initiative, I want this. So we're gonna get this. I could get plus two from pants, pants, boots, gloves and belt. The gloves are too important because they give me teleport. And the belt is questionable because it gives me memory. 300 to extra as well. The birds are asleep. The moon is in the Every he glances. Who the... I mean, I'm not one to talk, I'm undead as well, so... I obviously keep the nails for this kind of thing, immunity to sleeping, so you don't fall on ice. This guy doesn't matter, but the other two gives, will give rewards. <laughs> This is a bit more money. If you're too far, you don't get it. They're all side characters. Maybe Hung. And Gratiana, in a way. Are kinda important. Everyone else is just. <laughs> Going to die How really soon. So much power there. Talk to her for extra money as well. I should keep potions actually. My character is not undead. Something like this. Now uh, let's go for the worms. Oh, it's Gareth that sells warfare. I need from this guy. Can potentially get another polymorph and get Medusa head. It makes this fight super easy. But uh, that's as far as Medusa head goes. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Butter and run. And now we probably fight. Let's check this guy. A grim faced man. He holds this was Halon's blade. Take the, the rape here and away, keep it. Because it's Who are you? more money. He, he works fast, checking weapons to see if they're battle ready. Another 300. He the edge of a blade. It draws blood. He grins. 
initiative and constitution. That saves me having to put wits. The blade is there. Oh, and this is actually it's level six, so I'll keep it. But this is technically a dagger, even though it's a rapier. He looks up from so his I'll keep it for now. Help you? And uh, we're going to kill the worms. I got 17. I only need 16. It's pretty nice for us. This constitution for. I'll keep the restoration. Might be useful if we fight undead, like Trontoy later. Mm. I'm still not getting rid of this, it might be good later. So we're gonna get rid of anything that's single target. And that's it. Like, I probably need uh, maybe invisibility, maybe clock and, uh, cloak and dagger. And um, morphiness. More warfare. Just damage, damage, damage. Void woken. We meet again. Unfortunate. I am um, actually going to move. All the way here. If I poison this guy with my daggers or something, he just dies. <laughs> I don't want to kill him yet, because when he dies, he explodes and does poison damage. Die. Pass away. Your essence feeds us. So we do something like this. How beautiful. I um, keep getting distance from these guys. They're not... They're not really difficult or anything, but I don't even want to get hit. <laughs> if I can do some fancy... Uh, let's do this. And now this. So the fight is gonna end and I'm gonna recover cities. Or not because I missed. You will not be spared. Your time is up. We are the many. More of them! These beasts are. Oh, that's a bit of a waste of damage. The second and third wave will not explode on dead. Only the three guys at the start. As soon as there's only two left, we're gonna get the next wave. So I'm just... I'm just trying to recover CDs while we wait.
I actually don't want this attack to be a backstab. So attack through the side. Might be enough to kill him. Huh. Waste of one AP. This fight gives an insane amount of experience for how easy it is. I can delay because this guy dies and they are all far away. You have to go through this through this oil and maybe through the fire. And I get the double turn to work with. Obviously if I was playing on a party, I can just focus on killing people instead of, you know, trying to get my city is back, like I'm doing now. But when you're playing solo, it's all about... It's all about uh, not getting killed. Rather than focusing on doing damage. Delay again. I actually missed one. That's fine. Delay again. I got no skills, so I'll just do damage for now. I couldn't get the back stuff, but still fine. I'm used to playing without the enemies attacking me and whatnot, so I always play extra careful, but it doesn't matter if you get hit, they hit for like 12, 13 or something like that, and they have no skills whatsoever, so you can just take a couple hits for free. Now I'm 6, uh, more thievery. We can keep going on damage because I got the initiative. Mm, more damage, more damage. It's all that matters, really. Let's check. Psst. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? No. Why don't you take? I'm looking for better weapons now. I 
I kind of want to backlash into the dog, but right, let's not get animals just because. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Uh, this one's pretty bad. I know he has it, so I'll check the other shops. He looks up from his work and grins. You tried your best. Oh, there has to be something better. Help you? If there's not, I'll go back and get so that one. Your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. Hello again, child. Oh, what that's brings mine. you here? Smoke Hydro. Screams. Echoes of death. Mm. Gareth, please come back. Go. Uh, this is the point where I should start getting things with Iro. You, who are you? So I can use and uncanny evasion. <laughs> Blinded. Uh, the other one was life still, so this is. Marginally better in a way. It's pretty bad anyway. So close your sweet eyes and rest your wee head. We are getting one of these for the utility. Something like that. Oh no, I don't think I checked Nevora. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She oh, doesn't well, I don't know if this is worth. Yeah, it actually is. I need peace of mind. <laughs> Alright, we are going for the salamanders now. So, what am I gonna use? Uh, this is a maybe. Alright, so what I want here is to kill the pink, oh, pink uh, green one as far as possible. Because it is. It's the one with range attacks. So if I can get this one, I automatically win the fight. So let's do something like this. A bit convoluted to get, but uh, I need to make sure it dies as fast as possible.
Now for the other two, I'll I'll kite them as as best they can. A reposition for free. I want to get close to this area. I am the light. And now, hopefully, no, it's not enough. What I want is to get this one trapped over here as far away as possible. I can't get close for the opportunity attack. Maybe it's worth wasting the extra AP. Maybe it doesn't move. Okay. Rapture tendons obviously would be nice, but uh, I couldn't. I couldn't risk it. Should buff before doing that. Just try have 100. I'm too far from the other. That's fine. I didn't mean to go out of combat, but I'll take it. That was a mistake. Because now I I need to get behind, or alternatively I can just attack once, which is shitty damage from the front. Make sure to always have the two extra AP. So you start with six, and oh, now it's pretty much over. Easy fight. I've, I've got way more damage than I, I than I expected. Here. Don't see my folks either. Finesse is nice. I'll keep this until I can use it. This one is also finesse, but I lose teleport. It's too too early to be using it. But I can keep it for now. And this is not interesting for me. This is another purple item. Now. That's trap. I'm hoping for a dagger, obviously. Possible. Fucking hell. At least I got the Venom Room, which is gonna be in here for the extra accuracy. What strange witchery is this? So we'll do something like that. Yeah. And now switch uh What do I switch? I think uh, right before this, I want to do this, but I also want the the accuracy. So I'm gonna do the arena real quick. When 
Is it gonna be killing time? We will rejoin our comrades. That's one of the problems with playing human. You come to fight. Good. You get one more buff to cast, and it's kind of annoying. So I don't like to do it as much. If you delay, it's always the same start. Literally every time, that's why I start with haste. And now that I'm delaying, I don't get slowed. Because it doesn't tick for me. So let's do something like that. Thirty four, it's at minimum fifty one, I think. Yes. Roll high. This is enough. I've no idea if this guy has wild wind, so I'm just gonna move away. I just blinded the arrow for some reason. I get the dog up there because <laughs> I can actually get uh, I can actually get these chests because I get 13 strength for clear minded on this. So hopefully, I get something good. And there's also a couple of chests here. Uh, try not to get slowed. Just a few resources. Now a double turn for the dog and he's gonna die super fast. Well, that was easy. Just look at this damage. Well fought, you may award. <laughs> hmm. I'm the only one with a gun. Each day brings us one step glory. closer. Yeah, let's skip the arrow. I'll not use it right away. It's you. It's really you. You gave him hell, did ya? Mm. 
Not that good loot. Right, now I get rid of the color. I can equip this. And I can get 100 accuracy without peace of mind, which means I can get something more useful in combat. It's not like peace of mind is useless or anything, it's just... There's better things when you have low memory. The birds are asleep, the moon's in the sky. I don't know if I should get rid of that. Right, the first guy doesn't give experience. Hey, hey you. But he's uh, he's gonna be here when I fight these guys, meaning if I have to retreat, he's still here. So I'm just gonna, you know, preemptively kill him. Quite the vision, aren't I? You should go. He doesn't aggro right away. It's uh, a few hits, or when I break his armor fully. No more misses for now. I might go with haste. Yeah, haste seems nice, yeah. Didn't I tell you? <sighs> Uh, just a tiny bit more. Oh, if I can't go him from here, that's annoying. Yeah, that's very annoying. This guy has to die first because he's got rain and he's got global cooling, which means I can't stay invisible with him around. But get this guy as far as possible. Waiting for backlash or a cloak and dagger. I'm not sure if I reach. Uh, just barely. Didn't mean to go out of combat, but it works anyway. I 
one thing to notice here is that even though I have a lot of damage, I rarely have any armor. And other than invisibility, I'm moving around. I got no defensive abilities. Teleport because starting the fight with backlash is not uh, it's not AP efficient, and on top of that, I might not end up where I want. Even with all that armor, I I do so much damage. There's a few traps over there. Careful now, that's a trap. Not good. Now this thing is relatively simple. You come to find. Brachus has will. Judge him. Do you wish to move? Listen closely. Brachus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is... Alright, each letter is gonna be one word. So you get B is bloody, R is rotting, A is thieving, C is gonna be very, and then another very, U is going to be awful, and S is going to be fellow. So when you see Kerr, it starts with very, and the U is going to be awful. So very awful. Either you're very good at guessing, or the slightest bit listen close. So Same with the second one. A devil, a misery, a blight, a one each. A curse. And, yet, and this one is easier because you just is. look for the four letter word. Perhaps your bit doesn't matter. I know little. Alright. It gives you experience and automatically opens the door. You can break it down. But I'm here for the experience. Uh, this might be tricky though. Open your eyes. I have this which I'm not using from, from the ring. I'm actually... I got haste, so I'll lose a slightly bit of damage. That was not the best start to this fight. I had to waste AP changing equipment. The idea here is just simply kill these three, spawn the second wave, and we can just kill the real one. I think I think if you get him low enough in HP. He will spawn automatically the others, but uh, it doesn't work for me sometimes. I don't know why. We're doing about 60 per attack. 
so if they have less than 180, we can just use adrenaline and finish them off. This might be a bit dangerous because the invisible guy is close. When, what level do I buy skill books? Still skill books. Uh, as I need them. At 4 I get my jump. And my other scoundrel skills. And I think that's about it. Still, whenever I need the books, I don't, I'm not trying to be super efficient with stealing. And whenever I don't need the traders anymore, they can just die. I don't care about them. I think I've got enough. So one, two. Maybe I should have used Flurry. Not sure if that would be enough. Get behind the pillar. The idea is to break line of sight for this guy. So he has to move more just to hit me. I just need one more turn for invisibility. AP to use, but the haste is not good when you're going invisible. I'll just encourage right about here. I want him to spawn the second wave, but uh, I'm a bit in danger. Come on, let me out. If I let, if I let him act, he might... Yeah, you know, he might actually stun me or something. Just being careful with that. Like I said, I don't have much armor. I caught scrolls and shit, but no skills to recover armor. <laughs> now this will be, I have to go in, trigger the second wave. And we actually fight. Are you confused? Or do you always dumb? Skill box will change at level four, at level nine. At level 13 you get the second source, which is not that important, and actually at 16 you get uh, the last books you were missing. That's the levels for books. I 
Oh, terrible backlash. That was weird. I thought I was in the front. Well, you get new skill books from vendors before leaving for joy. If you reach 9, some of them will have higher level books. But not all of them. You don't really need it, I guess. But if you wanted to, you could get uh, level 9 from Exter. You can get skin graft. And gold should not really be a problem. Uh, at least until Driftgood usually. Usually four or five. But I get six right away, so. Ninety nine. If they're knocked down, whatever dodge they have doesn't work. Also, if they're frozen or stunned. How much is that? 40... 46. Um, I might as well just do a regular auto attack. Relatively easy, just make sure this guy doesn't reveal invisibility and we're good. Air damage is interesting for throwing knife. Fibre is okay -ish. That's plenty. I'm he trend. I'm cursed as long as the I picked the second one. Broken. Really? He drops it. Thank you. You get the experience and you get the uh, reward, so. This one is nice because it allows it gives me more damage and it allows me to free a ring slot. Uh it's too late for Geo. This one is nice as well. Socket and crit. So we get this and um, switch Pyro for Warfare again. We'll still keep the ring. Water. Nah, nah. Before looting all of this, the date is head as you. I always do this first because looting the, all of that is gonna be a lot of. It's gonna be super heavy. 
and I don't want to be <laughs> just walking through this place. Alright, we get bless. And now we can loot. Look at that wand. It hums with inner source. I'm still hoping for a purple weapon, but no luck. Right, we keep this three. This wand. And everything else we just throw away. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. Good to see you. Please, Amar. Bless and he looks up from his work and grins. Help you? Maybe we should fortify this place. Hello again, child. Hmm. What Same inventory as before. She stops dead. You entered the vault. You don't understand. She reached you see it. By Armadia. Arm I skip her the jar and I don't want to hear her story again. You, who are you, and what do you want? Hello again. Charlie. Unfortunately, Exter can't identify. If I had forge, I could do something. So it's either Gratiana or Kerber. I think we're ready to finish whatever it's in for Joy. Which is just these three fights inside, outside, and more outside. I do wonder about this though. I could kill this guy right away. Ah, uh, come on. I'd sooner take. Divine would want the world free of Void Wilkin. Sorcerers are like the divine children. If your heart is really safe, we will go nowhere. You're no one. You're weak. Only we have the will to do what's necessary. I have no problem with these skills except maybe this. name with this place. Eighty-eight. Right, let's count. Seventy-five percent, so that's gonna be about twenty-eight per hit. Hmm. Not ideal. Ah, he's not gonna get hit by the opportunity attack. some value out of that thing. Mm. 
cork can go towards this woman or this two. And it basically determines if he lives or not. Because if you can't save him with this kind of character, maybe you have enough damage to just kill everyone super fast. But he usually dies if I let him go this way. Or if he chooses to go that way, because I don't even get to choose. <laughs> Where is this building? Gonna wait one more turn because my knockdown is coming up soon. I'm glad he I still argue for my part after I was what I must be There's not much to these fights because of how how I've built the character just purely just get damaging kill people and they don't have uh, they don't have that much HP to survive just loot around I wonder about this one though. I'm, I'm actually surprised I have so much damage. Now let's start getting rid of some of this stuff. Hmm. I kinda need this. I was not expecting to just get this guy. That's a bit weird. I 
Maybe it's because I didn't start the fight from conversation. And they don't move together now. Alright, watch me miss three times in a row. Piercing damage is nice. I'll keeping a bit of everything here. Opa, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move it. Uh, that would have been bad on any other character except Ranger, because I need the piercing damage later on. Something like that. Oh, unfortunate. just have to reset. I meant to, you know, just knock everyone down. But I was a bit scared of getting hit by the opportunity attack there. Let's just wait a bit. Seventy six, huh? He will die to the piercing damage, though. Relatively easy fight because I have so much damage and I can just pick them off one by one. But you get the idea, that's how assassinations work. And there's one more fight outside, that one is a bit uh, trickier. But I got seven, so let's check the shops. If I had a forge, I'd... he looks up from his work and grins. Initiative. This is nice. Help you? I think uh, at this point. Oh well, we can wait a bit. 
You, who are you? And what do you want? I was hoping for a chest with uh, Iro, but I'll take Warfare if I have to. Feathers are super cheap. And they are for teleports. So air, paper, feather, you get teleport scroll, which is uh, really powerful as you can imagine. Like more damage or what? 20 initiative, that's super high, even though I have only 13 wits. Mm. You, who are you? And what do you want? So close your sweet eyes. Set silence now. I'm looking for a socket because I got physical now. Unless I actually sold it because I'm stupid. He looks up from his work and grins. Oops. Help you? I'm not used to Echoes of Death. Uh, I was playing the pacifist for so long, I'm not yeah. used to keeping this. Come back. Let's check if someone has something interesting here, but it's, now it's very unlikely. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. Good to see. Now I'm just hoping for a better dagger and that's it. Like everything else is quite irrelevant. Psst. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Perhaps if those Who could I got all my uh, got all idea. my scoundrel skills. Why don't you take two knockdowns, invisibility, and and chicken claw? I could use uh, the tentacle lash, but it's not gonna be necessary because I'm fully focusing on doing damage. You are in the wrong place. Pinky. I'm getting tired of that guy, so... Everyone except Sahila is gonna die. Because I need her later. You can keep this for a chicken claw. Uh, I can't remember the recipe. I'm guessing with life essence. But any chicken part. There's nothing else to do here, she's going to stay alive. Worse than war rations, please. At this point I'm just cleaning up before heading out of Fort Joy for good. We have the Hound Master as well. The one patience mm. does not come easy, however. I wonder if I can one shot this woman. Winning just a match or two. Someone will yet be chosen. Oh, wow, it looks like I could. Ah, close.
to cast. I can just skip uh, resetting, but we're good enough now, I think. All these small fights are not necessary now, but they will be later when I want to get 9. Because every little bit will make uh, the difference. But none of none of these fights are actually problematic or anything. That's a good thing about piercing damage, it just kills. Yeah, this should be enough. Ah, uh, I, I didn't realize she took damage already. Think about it logically, she's much better off. I feel like I've Leave killed me. these people already. I won't say it again. Not much longer. I'm also getting a lot of gold from this. I just wanted to loot, what's your problem? <laughs> that could have been nice before. Patience, Mal. Patience. 
I hope you love your Check bell, his inventory, get more nails. Chimes help. Um, just kill. Uh, there's also the polymorph here. This guy is dead already. Medicine! What a shame! Our healer's walk is never done. And the gods will take care of the rest. Of Medusa is potentially something that I could get. I like how he saw me just murder her and didn't say anything. Here I am, here you are, here we are. No one shot for these guys, so I'll actually buff this time. I eventually I'm going to need traders for this. Hundred and five. Do you hear a glow with flag? I just wanna kill them one by one real quick. I, I could obviously fight normally, but at this point these fights are not, uh, not even a challenge. So we're caring a bit more about speed. Probably gonna see me as soon as I get vision. I don't know, just kill this thing. I'm actually overburdened. Bless I've been killing too much. Your humble servant. Hello again, child. What brings you here? Cry. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the sky. The seven watch over us. You're safe in bed. 
Go in our sweet eyes and rest. Right. Uh, fire potions are probably the best elemental potion you can get. It's the most useful, I believe. And this is obviously because I need a way to restore armor. You, who are you, and what do you want? We could get the scales for skin craft shenanigans, but we're not gonna do that. This is tactician. There's no need to chase that much. How many of them did you let go? Uh, I... I... Go on, speak! That's why you're here, isn't it? It... it isn't right. All right, then. Hold <laughs> I don't think so. I wanted to knock everyone down, but I realized like, way too late that I don't have the damage. This guy has 80 armor, it's not enough. I actually uh, don't die on me. The color I there is in doubt not with her. You've we actually want this guy alive. Later on, he gives way more experience. My friend, I will settle this dead. I thought I had a potion. Maybe it has to be outside. It works a bit weird sometimes. Gloves with thievery, I'll keep them. I went there already. Uh, I'm missing Niles, huh? Uh, I don't think I finished that uh, fight. And the dogs as well. Mm. What? I fit the beast. The only reason to kill that woman is because I needed to backlash and then jump. So it's kinda faster because yeah, I eventually will kill Griff in a couple of minutes when I go back outside. Like I said, we're just cleaning up around Fort Joy. Is 
it's not possible to one-shot them, unfortunately. Low rolls there. I had to try anyway. Fred Powell gives a lot of experience, unfortunately I can't fit it on this character. <coughs> and you can't give the red ball without... Oh, without after leaving for Joy, because they are permanently hostile. The dog's tail... There is a... Oh, at the start I explained all my talents and all the skills I will be using. Now it's basically... We'll be playing Pong, Opportunist and then we'll decide if we are using 5 star dinner or not. If we're using Parry Master, maybe. If we're using Torture, maybe. If you're using Water Rush, maybe. There's many things we can do. Like, they all have their uses. But for now, we're just taking it slow, clearing up for joy. And a rogue guided rank is gonna be just me playing the game with a rogue and explaining why I do the things that I do. Double miss. And right now we're just, like I said, getting as much experience uh, from all these small fights just so we can get um, Level 9 in Fort Joy. This guy is still inside. You tired of my story, uh, we can you? take on three of them, can I think. Hear me in there? Time to die for power. I won't say it again. Although he's gonna get out. Uh, let me reset this. Heist him because he's more distance. Even though I could just run straight. Okay, now he's in the cage and I'm gonna get the golem out so he doesn't. So he doesn't break it. Alright, so we're fighting. three golems on this guy. Do 
front of me is. I was too close for the explosion. I want this guy to get super close to me. Ah, oh, he's probably gonna enrage. That's too slow, I'll go invisible, reset my cities, finish them off. I could just jump away, waste this guy's uh, enrage, and come back, but I think that's just too slow. Relatively easy. Like I said, this damage is insane. And now for this guy. He's knocked down, so I'm not gonna miss. Oh, he actually survives, I'm surprised. But I'm not gonna miss three times in a row with only a 2%. His daggers are too bad for me now. Right, I think there's only these silent monks. I don't get the one shot here. Oh. It bothers me when that thing happens where they aggro for no reason. Like it should be one by one. <laughs> the creature looks at you. Yeah, they all aggro for some reason. Should be like this, one by one. Just kill all of them. <laughs> Can you imagine if I miss both of them? How unlucky could that be? Griff dagger with pierce damage over quality of Niles daggers. Uh, Niles daggers are pretty bad actually. At least with Griff you get the warranted blood. 
There we go. Plus, Niles is way more difficult to kill than Griff. What? Okay, we're good down there, with good up there. Let's kill these people. Need something in the kitchen, do you? Uh, not enough for the one shot, I think. 75. So 30. 37. Nah, it's close, but not quite. Oh, he, he will die here for sure. Oh, I lost this. He doesn't die anymore. Don't I have him here? We can compare. I get all the druid and I. And that's it. Everything else is too cheap. Nine to eleven is level three. Eight to nine. Eight to nine. The only interesting part is the bleeding with torture it goes to a hundred percent. But you usually do that for the blood. And grief pierces already. He looks up from his work and grins. Help you? Right, that's uh. Trying to remember if we are missing someone for you. Who are you? For my experience. So close your sweet eyes and rest. Probably not. Smoke and scream. We need to go here. The woman traces my lord. She sees you. You eat the judges. She turns I off. Um, yeah, I wanted to kill the dog, but okay. The Magisters aren't the only ones looking for Let's me. get the mask. But who is it? Iro Ring. That's 
potentially what we want. Warfare increase the piercing damage. Mm. Probably not, I could say. I could actually check, but uh, I can't be bothered to open my Excel. You can check with the damage formula, like your total damage, what it's supposed to be and what you get. To see if it actually increases. I could say no, because it's not physical damage, but who knows. Why is he alive? Ah, you're back. Looking to add Another some warfare. To our uh, it's better than Scoundrel. We need corpses to warn you. Xbox menu display a little different. Ah, should be the same, but yeah, a bit more difficult to check. Wanna cancel my last movement there because it's not necessary to waste the AP. I can't see very well. Right about there should be fine. Nothing to see here, just going, kill one, invisibility, kill the rest. We are gonna get another feather up here. And I have literally no bottles, what? Maybe I sold them by mistake. And just a bit more money and we go.
Oh, really? A bit more to the right. I never know where that guy is. Flanking rogues is so hard. On this guy, I don't think you can even get behind him. Those the two fights here, we got this. I think it's time for Gareth. We go from here. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? Ah, all of this was mine. There was another purple item that we could have got, but I'll get it on my way back. There's another one up here we're gonna get now. What's this? I found something. Small venom, I already have that. I don't need her help. And she keep experience, so she's gonna die. <laughs> ah, purple dagger. Hopefully he has a socket, finesse and dual welding. But that's asking a bit too much. Getting this thing out of the way. Don't want to accidentally kill myself. Right, 
they have a bit more HP, but still, they die instantly. The Majesty, you got more flesh on your bones. Maybe I should have gone for one with more armor. Get some distance, get some cover. Force them to move and waste AP. I could delay, but uh, could be a bit problematic. He's fortified, so I cannot teleport him here. because I have nothing better to do. Well, this guy has hit me twice, which is most that most enemies can say. But still not enough. In a flickering to no. Nothing interesting going on with that guy, just experience. Get source on the handle, not on this thing, which you can actually target. This puddle uh, it gets really blows. annoying. What could this mean? Knowing the reputation of Bracus Rex, we should tread gingerly. What is this contraption? Before you, 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 you lose the source here to activate this thing. You need to wait because I always forget to grab the helmet. I'm gonna wait a bit more. Just to lift this, um, I need to come back in a sec. Mm. 
there's something that uh, I want to test still. Which is, I usually have more wits here, so let's save real quick. Mm. The men. So you dare to? Why wouldn't I? I hope this brings the. It is not. Besides, there are. She moans. One did not make it. No, I I don't think you can fail this thing. It is me. The guardian. It's always better to get her to die rather than fighting. It's more experience and obviously faster and easier. And since I was playing pacifist so much, I completely forgot that you can just set everything on fire, bless once, and hit two or three picks with just one bless. Uh, I don't think we can chain it. on fire if you have pet pal you can talk to them and with a persuasion check convince them to just stay still but it, as long as you don't get close they don't talk to you and they don't start running away Careful, I've spotted a trap. Careful, I've spotted a trap. And if I can reach, which I can, it does damage to him, but you know, just bless through the fire. And that's all of the pigs. <laughs> Accuracy could be nice earlier. I will just trigger this fight, which is around this rock. I'm not gonna fight right now. We'll leave it for later. I could probably kill them now, but let's not. It's impossible to flank this thing. I'll just get hit by the opportunity attack. I'm not buffed or anything, so I'm missing a tiny bit of damage there. Ah! 
you can send the bear to her mother on this side. There's the fog of war and should be around here. It doesn't serve any purpose other than making you sad. So might as well just kill the kid. It looks like these people ran into another purple item here. I've spotted something. Hopefully another daga and we're set. I am carrying too much stuff. He looks up from his work and grin. Help you? Someone has to have money now. You, who are you? Come on. Bless and protect your humble. Hello again, child. I'll what identify some of them. Go in Armadia's. Alright, this is bad. This is terrible. Smoke and screams. Uh, Echoes of death. This is potentially good. Let's see. Please come back. You might think that I lose damage, but it actually gives finesse. So I get a tiny bit of damage. And I get one memory because it gives me the skill. Hello again, child. What brings you here? Go in our mud. Wish Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. Someone is bound to have money. Ah, you're back. Oh, Looking boy. to add some weight to your rucksack? Just go like this, it's bothering me. So many things on my inventory. Right, I think we can go Gareth now. Oh, and I get one more. I feel like this is better for this fight. <laughs> oh, I'm missing this as well. I'll come back in a second. We have a couple of ways to approach this fight but I'm literally just gonna go in and kill the first person I see probably this woman the other approach could be to come here stay on the sweet spot and teleport someone on this uh, cage but uh, we don't need that uh, too much HP When you have Pong and you have any container open, even if you have zero AP left, you still can move. The most important is killing this woman as soon as possible. Because she's got heals and whatnot.
If you kill... Hmm. I'll just buff Gareth. Hopefully he will do something useful. If you kill traitors before checking their inventory or talking to them, rather, I don't think you get any books. So either talk to them first or just check their inventory real quick. You get one in Fort Joy and you get another in, in Amadeus Sanctuary. Which is probably around 4, 5, maybe level 6. Depending on where you go around. I am close to the end, actually. We have just a few more fights. Not a backstab, but it's enough. Your courage in the face of danger is up. You're clearly no magic. I can get. I can get. I. Nothing I need, so I'll just get whatever is expensive. Blessed Amadia, grant these soldiers your protection. You can't. I know you see God work. Gareth, my friend, only though you get. Yeah, she got. We cheat a little. I, we, I can't see the lady. You do. I have. Gareth, we moved. I had lots of things to do now. I need to be able to move, so I'll just sell everything. Now that Solisker has money. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your. Not even enough. Now let's look for. No, same I guess. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wink before returning to her work. Good to see you. And now that I s uh, send them, they're not gonna be there anymore. They'll just be here. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is warmer, but still tempered by the scene around her. I'll just get the armor. Be... If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. 13, 14, no initiative. He takes will be the surest way to victory. This is a maybe. You would attack the Magisters directly? Are you so eager to die, Seeker? You cannot stand against Kerbin stares at the body of his Not dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in Ooh, a cold this is, uh, haha. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. This is pretty good. You would 
this are you so eager to die seeker so i still need the initiative the shriekers, not without stronger weapons than these we'll find them or we'll find another way um i want to kill radeka as soon as possible so now the choice is Basically, do I get 5 star dinner or not? <laughs> yeah, I guess we do. Kinda need the stats. So let's get some of this. One of these. Oh no, we do blue potions for the dodge. Stone skin gives like 200 armor or something like that. But it makes you slow. This is gonna be give 100. This is gonna completely stop me from moving. But it gives like 400 armor because I have ground in the middle ah, of the I have five star dinner. What's going on? And now also, do I get Iro or not? Because I could get plus two to everything. That's two more memory, two more wits, and two more finesse. Which is what matters for this character. Are my eyes fooling me? Please walk through the poison. That looks dangerous. Are my eyes fooling me? That's why I like playing undead. What's her HP? What is this place? Radeka has a hundred plus initiative. So there's no way that I go first. Maybe if I didn't have to teleport, but uh, I don't know how to manipulate her well enough. We could pick the enemies one by one, but I think this is safer and faster. Plus, we get the Blood Rose for the rest of the fight. Not like it matters much, but... I'm just gonna reset, drink the potion, and then we go back. When you're playing solo, this is obviously going to yourself. 
when you're playing, I'll be re reload, otherwise might not work. When you're playing solo, you get it. When you're playing on a party, though, you need to decide who benefits the most for the, uh, from the stats, and also if someone wants to run 5-star dinner for it. But anyway, we got the stats now. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe flurry was the way to go. Right, the zombies, not my dad, but the others will reflect damage and explode for a lot when they die. So here what I want to do is just... That was a bad jump. Make sure these things die. That's 180 armor from a big potion. This guy should be able to do the range attack. I don't see how he dies. Nah. You dodge a hundred with these things. It's usually fifty with the five star dinner double. Hopefully he will just walk off and get killed by the opportunity attack. There we go. I'm happy where with where they are right now, so I don't want to move myself. delay before I lose this.
I barely have any HP. We're gonna use one of these so they all die together. Right about there should be fine. I might get hit as well. Take a step back. Something like that, that's what I wanted. You always get infect this thing and three purples from Radeka. So it's a pretty important fight, but I don't think I got anything important other than the Blood Rose. Kerbin stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in a cold fury. That's why it's, uh, it's okay. Ah, oh, this one is not. This one is not bad. I might keep it. Magist Did I not loot butter? Oh, I did, but I forgot to keep tactical retreat. I might keep this, get rid of this one and keep this one. She looks at you with wet eyes and manages a wicker to see. I'm missing the fight down there. I'll just go and kill everyone. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? This is actually better. It's gonna be more damage. What? He just pulled me back. I my decision now could be to either either get Iro. I lose a bit of damage, but I can get uncanny evasion. But I don't think I need it because I've been doing so much damage. And I don't really want to stay on this fight, just get in, kill, get out.
That's a lot of buffs, I don't wanna have so many. And the reason I also don't want to stay on this kind of fight is because there's 8 enemies, so I have to wait until they all do their thing. Which gets really annoying. We can probably backlash into this, grab this guy and stun everyone. I'll haste first. This is the only part where you can walk through, so technically this is blocked, which is why these guys are <laughs> a bit confused. So it's one, it's two. And it's three, and now Something like that. Ah. Rogues in this game, yeah, late game they will fall off. But early game the damage you can you can get is insane. That mess. Okay, so are not dangerous, just annoying. The Magister Knight has the key to this chest. Not particularly important, but it's more loot. And now I'm just gonna run around collecting nails. Anywhere from 10 to 15 is what you need for a character. 
depending on how many times you want to switch boots, this is more than enough. Let's just go like this. So we've done pretty much every fight this side. We've done the Hound Master. We got the Void here. The Dragon and this part, which is where we should be going now. The stone gog. You are not. You may. You may. Maybe you'll. They all. Oh, it doesn't say mysterious because I am not undead. Careful! I've spotted a trap. We'll do this the normal way. <laughs> These skulls crumble to dust after one use. And we'll switch this for the ring with restoration. The gargoyle. Probably kill this guy first. It's the most annoying. to do that again. <laughs> I'm actually gonna reposition better so I can get this guy here. It's level 8 right now. Getting close to 9. I imagine that's not gonna work here. I might get hit by the explosion. Nah, I'm too far. I'm too strong for these guys. A single invisibility is more than enough. You don't have to do anything fancy. I need blood here. I didn't even need to use restoration. I could have though. I wanna be elf for this. And get this. I'll be nine. Before finishing for Joy. The fire! It's left me weak. I won't last long. This is uh just to keep my cloak and dagger facing through places. Since I killed the guy, there's no portal, it doesn't matter, I just jump. Another purple bow. It'd be great for ranger this playthrough, I think. Another skull crumbled to bits. Uh, I need one more. 
Ah, oh, because I didn't come from back there. I could go in there, but I need my jump to loot. So I won't even bother. Careful now, that's a trap. Another skull crumbled to bits. And doing it the normal way and opening the path will get you both the experience the and the good loot. Oh, loot, quote unquote. Good. Mm. This might be good. It's, it gives me memory and warfare. Doesn't give me pyro though. I do lose a bit of finesse, but it should be fine. You can just... another purple item, not good. You can just skip... Uh, maybe jump from here, maybe jump from the back all the way from here and get to where the gargoyle is. You get the experience but not the good loot. This fight is always pretty much the same. We're doing it for the experience. So haste, I don't need anything else. As you not that I that the shinpo. Uh we just go here. My turn of thanks, young one. I'll oh, see you to death. Adrenaline Thank once. You. My death waits. Farewell. And you get the full experience from Farewell. the quest and the full experience for Farewell. fighting them. It also takes three attacks. Not like the real fight is gonna take much more, no? But it's more simple. Go here, uh, deactivate the traps and whatnot. I heard something. And we're here for something, the purple item, which is a uh, one-handed axe. Not really what I wanted, though. I uh, just remember I haven't looted the <laughs> the other mine maggot grenade. more it's only gonna be good if we get um, torture as well I don't feel like it's necessary for now as everything dies so fast but it could be useful later we're not going there yet because I need level 9 the air around the if you have no source, the skeleton guy from the start will help you here. Tactical retreat, exactly what I wanted.
I probably can reach 18 strength. Just barely. This one is 18, the other one is uh, 13. Another purple item, that might be good. We don't really care about chain lightning, uh, but we do care about bless smoke screen. Uh, that's all there is to do until I get nine and I have to go back. Kerbin stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping his weapon in a cold fury. Are you so eager to die, Sita? You cannot stand against the shriek. Majesty. Than these. We'll find them, or we'll find another way. If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth. Well, as you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is warmer, but nothing, still tempered by the scene nothing. around her. No. Uh, maybe. Intelligence. If it was finesse, I could consider losing the warfare. Oh, this is just bad. It would be a sw no terrible, terrible items. You would attack the I forgot to do this when we were here. Right, there is a fight here where we've got four enemies, one here, one over there, one here, another over there. Captain, is that so you? I teleport this guy. Is everybody? What did I lose here? Oh, peace of mind is there. Hmm, not sure what to use, maybe this. Right, so I teleport this guy and now he's out of position. Which means we're only gonna be three, oh well, four people in the fight instead of six. I do have to pay him a bit. I have so much money though. A young man. Stop! Stop! I wanna fail this every time. He sidles blindly beside the cart, groping. I can't let this is you want. He continues to grope toward uh, we beat them back. But I have a... He pulls a pair of And wait until just don't pick anything too aggressive until he does this. Allow him to shackle you. Wait, do you hear that? And we go into the fight. Oh, 
you can see how I ran without any AP because I still have Pong and the animation of Dead still has to play. Get my money back. And there's one more over there. As you can see, my damage is still insane. But not everyone is loaded in because I am too far. That might be a good thing. If I kill this guy right away, we go out of the fight, so I don't really care about that. We're gonna pick them off one by one at the start, and then hopefully we can just go in. <coughs> to have vision here. I need to be close to the edge. But I can't approach without then seeing me. So I'll buff here. I <coughs> was about to teleport. There are points, specific high ground, where you can just have vision of most of the area and just teleport people or attack them from far away. So we're just going around finding those places. Because without, other than invisibility, I can't really stay on fights. Let me clear this. Here my animation is so slow. I can't reach. Let's go back up there. You. This guy has rain, this guy has tornado. So if for some reason they feel like it, they could reveal me if I stay there.
let's drop one of this. One of this. Oh, it's this guy that has rank. Maybe the other one as well. <laughs> That's good that he keeps doing that, wasting AP for no reason. Pretty easy fight at level 8, as long as you don't get destroyed by the everyone at once. Like approaching approaching this fight from the side is, is the way to go. Alright, and we've got 62, we can do the dragon I guess. I'm not sure if he's faster than me though. He might be. 22. Hmm. Is it doing chained up here? The dragon rakes the earth with icy claws. Quakes from the impact knock you back. No, I don't want to encourage him. Huh. Let's wait, actually. That's like a hundred more HP. Oh, 60. I might get two attacks for free, maybe three. Maybe just one.
encourage is not really necessary. I wonder how Just long keep attacking. The earth. And now he's gone. I don't really need this. <coughs> I'm gonna eat some shriekers with this thingy. Or this, where is it? This. Seventy percent I'll get. You would attack the I'll get the rest yet. during the fight. Are you so eager to die? If I were you, I'd stay close to Sir Gareth once the fighting begins. You cannot begins. stand against the Shriekers. Not without stronger weapons than these. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Her moves are lighter now. Her voice is warmer, but still tempered by the scene around her. Terrible. Terrible. Meh. Terrible. 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 It's nothing good. It would be Pete can be a level nine vendor. Yeah, he can also be bacon, but you know. I don't have pet valve for that. Trying to see if there's anything we're missing. Saliscar. Why not play with Long Wolf? Have you seen how I play? Do you think I even need Long Wolf? Oh, it's been cursed. God, what is that? Long Wolf is unnecessary. Oh, my helmet seemed to stir just now. It also takes away the fun in the game. I could have sworn my helmet just jolted when I consumed sauce just now. This guy has 24 initiative, uh, he's really dangerous, so I'll just uh, haste on them, peace of mind. Oh, my helmet! It's, it's getting tighter! As the source hell, but not as sweet as the source. Uh, whatever you pick, you're gonna fight. Keep an eye out for my peace of mind. Make sure I don't lose it. Like if I if I end my turn here, I will die because he gets up and then goes again. So 24 for this guy. If you have 25, you're good to go. He can kill you very fast. Let's get damage because it's the only thing I'm using. Even more damage. Let's 
check the shops one more time. As you approach, Gratiana turns to you. Home. It would be. If I were you, I'd stay close to Sagareth once the fighting begins. Whatever. Kerbin stares at the body of his dead comrade, tightly gripping yeah. his weapon in majesty. Let's just go like this. Praise be! You have any more? Mi We've got a. So we. Are you retakes? See. Let them go. We don't need them. I'll kill this freaker as well. Just in case I need to move towards there. At the start of the game, finesse. Well, welding and warfare is pretty much the same. Later on, warfare is the best by far. But enough, I just want this out of the way. I don't know if I can do this without far out. I assume I can. Maybe not. You grab the Geist. Oh, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Probably have more damage than him. But I now. Oh, we have uh, different way to, different ways of approaching this. I'm just gonna go through here. We could go through the front, we could go through here. It depends on how you wanna do it. But the timing. Worm has 60 something initiative, so potentially you can be faster, but it's not worth it. Assassin is right there. So. I am gonna sneak actually. 
because I'm not very confident on killing the worm myself. So let's just wait and see what they do. This is actually ideal. Uh, let's see if I reach all the way over there. Ah, unfortunate. Not sure what the damage is here. Uh, 180. So we're doing about 110 to 120. Uh, this might be enough. Yeah, I think this is enough. Nah. Those rolls. Week. Eh, late game is it's a bit weaker than all the other classes. What is she doing in that corner? I'm gonna be buffing her. Uh, I'm gonna reload here. Because I can't see where I'm... Where I'm looking at. When the worm burrows... The terrain gets permanently weird. Congrats on pacifist. Yeah, thank you very much. That was a long, long run.
Not like her to be late. I should have used piercing knife. I don't really want to walk over there, so even though teleport is a bit weak. Perseverance is broken, otherwise it would be slightly harder. Was this back? Uh, two into everything, ten into polymorph, and use all the skills and don't do damage. That's how it went. I'll keep teleport because I might use it later. There's a couple of people that need to die. Right, with the textures like this, I can't really tell where I have to be. Right there. It's a small spot where you can be and just jump into this. You don't need far out to reach. But it's a bit tricky to get. Alright, let's get many faces. Well, is now you see, we thank you for the water. A hot that rocks with the spare sweet laden. The well is now you with the, with the sweet laden. The reason we wait until nine is because these items will be pink instead of purple, which is better. The well is now you with, with the they can roll much much better stats. The well is used. And if I know I'm getting nine here, it's worth waiting. The well is used. Laden. A bit weak though. Oh, okay. More damage. This is pretty weak, actually. Just one width, usually it's two or three. 
strictly better warfare. Ah, let's go with this. Ah, you're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? You're back. Looking to add some weight to your rucksack? Nah. 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 Alright, let's go. Gang, I don't want to encourage these people. Yeah, you can do... If you're playing with some more people, they can do it as well. It's really, really strong. I get finally this one. We'll use much, much later. Geosamon is useless. And this is for money. <laughs> I mean. Maybe, but Losa is dead for some reason. Ah! If Fang is on his way to dying. Actually, I'm actually gonna let Nebora kill him. It is unfortunate, but she has to die. Pyro air, oh, 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 oh. That's really good. I can work with that, I think. Yeah, I just need one more point there. Leave me. Mm. 
kinda wanna go and kill Sahila, but I know I have to let her live. And I don't have any shops now. It's the problem with everyone dying. Yeah, pretty much everyone. There's a couple people alive. Ah, but they will stay there. She steps, she really God woke up. Uh, what she's her, uh, hey, she, I come there, you'll have to marry after you, darling. <sighs> mm. I don't need the source, I think. Let's just go like this. Let's go. <sighs> There's one last chest here, which is always a disappointment. Uh, it, could, uh, it, it could be worse. Let's go. Melody God woke salty. Tired mm. but victorious. The party ma And we'll just do up to a tire queen here. Lord. So close to escaping. Gods. So many have fallen. But the ship is ours. I remember this one. His name was Kerbin. Uh. Nah. His friend's sword couldn't save him, it would appear. You just do a little tour area uh, around here, grab all the items. I won't what? you get uh, to Alec. Is it yes, you want that? What the sneak we are? It's hat. We have to find a way to get this ship moving. Three Chantereau as well. can't let well. the Magisters catch up with us. We're too weak to fight them again. Uh, we're gonna get the skin graft. And we're gonna get some more... Corrupted Blade. That's what we want. Do you know when I'm behind someone for no reason and I just use Piercing Knife into them? Well, now it is going to be Corrupted Blade, because it does more damage. 7k though, 8. Where does gag order go? Probably here. Behind bars suits you, murdering scum. The sea huh? shit or she took too long. Get away from him, so oh, oh no, uh, I meant to pick the other. Let's see how much I do with Corrupted Blade. I reckon about 200. 210. Bishop Bruce, you.
I don't know what you want for solo play. But yeah, I'm just playing uh, maximizing experience. I've spotted something. Even if it's a cruel thing to do. The door seems the wood the face vanishes. In case it was not clear, you get the password on the book up at the start. Like the very first corpse you get on the left. And I didn't the get the gem. Resolutely oh, I need to get the gem from Alexander's body. And this thing to open the door. The door remains unmarked. The anguish a shut I am yeah. Just he clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap. Chicken claws crawls are fantastic. Because it's only one AP. Uh let's do four fifty maybe. 350 probably <laughs> hmm. I could get another dagger I'm not sure. And I'm um, Adam Dallas Chick. Oh, he used some for. Well, so why don't you tell me you understand? I ought to continue. I just wanna talk to him a bit. Get this so we can get the boat moving. I've spotted something. Ah, if he's got any anything for my it's socket. It's good to have a sense of freedom once again. Truly good. I lose initiative. <laughs> 21 should be enough. I'm gonna save in case I immediately die. Nah, we're fine. I didn't do the well. I did already. I got this belt. But nothing else. Everything else was terrible. That's not enough. The thing about Corrupted Blade that is the deceased 
will reduce uh, constitution. So it should be like the first attack when their armor is broken. Were those guards or victims? Amulet, eh, might be good. This looks like a teleporter pyramid. It could certainly come in handy. These items are always the same here. Another pyramid. It's good to have a sense of freedom once again. Truly good. <laughs> wow. This amulet is uh, probably what I'm going to be using for the rest of the game. <laughs> 